Happy Friday. What's going on, everyone? Um, I hope that you guys had a great day. I did so far. Um, it's been productive uh, because I've been trying to get myself... Um, I don't have all of my information, but I do have a good portion of it. But um, just everything that we've been talking about this week, as far as... I just want to have everything. I'm I'm Virgoing right now. Okay, you guys know how it is. It's a new moon, <laughs> and sis is in her Virgo, and I have to be. I'm, you know how I, I have to have everything, and it needs to be very organized, and I need to be able to understand what's going on, and um, so, I have been pulling all of the cases. Okay, I've been pulling all the cases and reading the documents. And I'm redacting and all of the things because we are going to be super duper knowledgeable. We, I mean, we're not going to be lawyers. We're not going to be paralegals. We're just going to be concerned citizens who are interested in knowing the facts of the case. Hi, Apostle. How are you? We are going to be, we are concerned citizens who want to know the facts of the case, who happen to be a little bit nosy right okay um and you know we we like to know you know we like to be well informed okay that's the way i put it you can call it nosy i say well informed okay um all right anyway okay let's get into it um you guys have asked me to get into this nesto dion video and i've been putting it off putting it off putting it off putting it off and I'm not putting it off anymore. I, I don't know why I was putting it off. I just felt like it was a little bit more of like the same of the Lamont video. Um, but bougie gang asked. So I'm going to deliver. That's what you guys asked for. Also, I will um, drop the call in. Um, so let's do the Dion video first. And then maybe we can talk a little bit about what we know. If we don't, if like... It starts to run a little bit too long. Then we can table what we know until tomorrow. But, um, you know, last week, girl, I had to go get some print cartridges. I had to get everything. Um, call it cur curious is a sign of intelligence. Okay. So abso absolutely, period, right? Um, because, look, there's plenty of people who are in the jail system right now who would love to have some social media support, be it supporting or just curiosity. The curiosity, you know how they say activity brings results. And whether people are supporting from a standpoint of just having awareness and are interested in the story, at the end of the day, there are plenty of people who would love for people to know their story and have an opportunity to have some traction, right? So it is what it is. At the end of the day, I don't know what this man is knowledgeable about and don't really care, to be quite honest. Um, the interest for me, and I've said, I probably say this every day, was initially like, girl, surely that's your husband? This. <laughs> really? Okay. And then it blossomed from there. Now, we do know um, Sonia had some shenanigans this week. Um, now, that long live is very, very, very long. And I think we kind of recapped a little bit of it on yesterday. We didn't go in depth, but I know that there are other people who are discussing it. And that's fine. Um, so if you guys still feel the need, then, um, I just, I don't know that I can commit to watching that three and a half hours. I watched most of it, but I was in the midst of kind of that and a couple of other things like for real, for me to really watch it, to recap it to you guys, that's a whole half day. Um, and <laughs> I don't know. Um, but the 45 minute video is definitely very much doable and we can talk about that tomorrow. I just felt like, you know what? Um, let's do first things first. We've been putting off Dion and Nesto all week. Um, and you never know what phone calls from prison is going to drop. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead, 
take the opportunity to get current with um, phone calls from prison. That way, if something else comes up that we need to address and want to talk about, we can do that. And I hate to feel like I'm behind or I'm not caught up with stuff. So, um, but like I said, beh not even behind the scenes at my desk, um, because behind the scenes, for some reason, always sounds so like, ooh, behind the scenes? Ooh, what's behind the scenes? Um, it's not, I was at my desk, and um, I've been pulling up all of these cases now. For some reason, I don't know why I can't access this particular aspect on my computer, um, but I can access it fine on my phone. So I'm taking some screenshots. But basically, there are the nine cases. There are two cases that were closed, which we know. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. I'm sure I can, but um, I did this printout. Um, let's see. I already had phone calls from prison pulled up, but let me show this. Show, share my screen, is it? Uh it's this one, and okay. Okay. Um, okay, so this is like, this is what it would look like if I printed out the screens that I'm looking at. Um, so this is like when you do a print, but you save it to PDF. Um, so you can see right here, this address on the bottom says public records access, Fulton County, Georgia. Um, can I make this really big just to, just to keep me honest, you guys can see that public access, public records access, Fulton County, Georgia.gov portal home workspace. Da, 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 da. Okay. Right. All right. So this is kind of a summary listing of SIRS current cases. Um, let me make this a little smaller. Okay. Um, and good, hello and good evening to everyone. Um, I didn't do any personal hellos. You guys say hi to each other. Um, we're just going to get right into it. So, um, and we're going to do reaction on Dion's, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what we're working on so we can talk about like the case, because that's really what brings a, mo a lot of us here. I mean, obviously some of us are interested in the gossip and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but there is a man who is sitting in the Cobb County Correctional, uh, excuse me, Adult Detention Center right now who is answering to some charges from the law. OK. Um, and his name is Ernest Williams. OK. And um, there's some of his vital statistics and they do list him as married. OK. Um, there's some information here, high school diploma, all of the things. So this is case CP, uh, 23 CP 220152. And that is, which case is this? Um, I can't open this on the screen that I'm on right now. Um, but we're just, we're going to just gloss on by. This is one of the theft by deception, um, financial transaction card fraud times three. Um, this one is probably the one with the teacher. I'm going to need to, I've gotten all of, I've gotten so much stuff recently. I've got to kind of parcel, like portion everything out by case. And then I'll really be able to speak a little bit more to it. So I'll be working on that tonight and maybe tomorrow. And then we will like, you know, we might even have like somewhat of a little bit of a case review or something. I don't know what to call it, but it's going to be what, you know, it's going to be, that's, I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but that's what it is. Um, all right. And then, so these are, this might be the case with the teacher, the financial transaction fraud times three. And then there's CP22091. Um, I'm going to, I will give you the notes on all of these, but these two right here, these are the ones that were recently closed. If you notice, they say closed. Um, these are the ones that they um, that they noted as no pros, which means that they're not prosecuting at this time. But they said that they were turning over to financial, uh, the, the white collar division, and we're going to revisit those. Okay. So from the nine, that makes seven, right? So, and then these are the others. Now, I just got the information in about the CP case. 
I've gotten the information about the essay uh, case. We read some of that. Um, did we read some of that the other day? No, I got all of the warrants from... I got all of the warrants from the SA. I just got the warrants from the CP. And now I just, I have to request, I'm going to do that tonight, everything with Erica King. And I've got the Erica King case numbers to request when she went and pretended to be a lawyer. She, she, all of those shenanigans. So I'm getting organized. I even feel like I do have some of those things, but honestly, it was so crazy in September and October when this started really blowing up um, that I do have some things that honestly I could not even really get into when I got them. So I just kind of put them into folders. So now that it's quieted down a little bit where it's not as crazy, it's time for us to get into the facts of the case and even some other things also. Um, so, okay. Well, sis, I don't know what to tell you, hon, because that's what we're doing tonight, okay? Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. But yeah, just either enjoy the conversation or we'll see you next time. Um, that's really, you know what I'm saying? We can't, um, folks have been requesting it and I don't know, I don't know if everyone feels that way or not, but I can't, you know, it's, that's kind of what's on the, on the agenda. So it'll be fun. So just keep an open mind because um, at the end of the day, whatever whatever you experience somewhere else won't be what you experience here. Uh, that I can guarantee you because um, this group is only assembling for this, this time in this place at this one moment, right? So it is what it is. So let's see. Okay, let me get this keyed up. Otherwise, um, oh, and another thing. Um, so La Latoya, who was on, thank you, Live, Laugh, Love, thank you. Um, Latoya, who is um, Sonia's friend. I don't know if you guys, did anyone go and actually watch the um, the live with Tasha Kay or see her on um, Kendra G? Yeah, girl, every every place has a whole, you know, everything can be enjoyed in different ways. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Um, look, I've been putting it off all week. I wasn't I wasn't really too here for it either, but I understand that there are some people who really wanted to watch this. So we're going to see. Um, did you guys, so any of you guys who watched Sonya's Live, I know some of you have watched, some of you have not. Um Based on the amount of views that she got, I don't know how many people actually watched it because it was four hours and I and I do believe people were kind of in and out, in and out, in and out. But her friend who, when people would ask, who are you, who are you, who are you? She would say she was Carl Thomas's baby mom before she would say anything. Like it was just more so like I'm Carl Thomas's baby mom. I'm Carl Thomas's baby mom. I'm I was thinking she was his baby mom like she had all of his kids. So I was watching Tasha K and her interview and so it turns out is that she basically had a one night stand. The man called her at three o'clock in the morning and came through and I guess she went to where he was if I'm getting the story correct. But the gist of the story was is that they had basically a one night stand and that was the night that they created her number four child. So that woman, I guess, was it Latanya girl, girl? Yes. Um, oh, girl, a mess. Okay. Um, what is her name? Wait, let me look it up again. I was like, ma'am, um, just a moment, Latanya Chantel, okay, Latanya Chantel, yeah, well, you know what, it, will we do Sonya tomorrow, 
let's get through Dion and Nesto. Let's see how far we can get and how much we want to get into this. Because like I said, this was giving Lamont part two. This was just giving Father's Day. Um, you know, it was just, I don't know. Like I, I said this before, um, it was it was kind of giving very similar to the Lamont call of just trying to pump Nesto up, trying to give him some encouragement. And that's all well and good. I don't have a problem with that. You know what I mean? That's, this is his call. But at the end of the day, it's just kind of like, okay. Um, yeah, I understand that sis. Um, yeah, no, I'm talking about, so she, so her friend Latanya, actually, we'll talk about it later. We'll get into it. Let's go, let's get into this a little bit. Let's hear some of the things and we'll just, um, and once we get through it, I'm also going to drop the call in. If you guys want to call in in between, um, we can do that as well. Um, let's see how this goes. Okay. Give me just a second to... Actually, let me do... Okay. The first one is very, very short, but Dion calls right back. In these first two calls, Ernesto and Dion discuss the jail calls being on social media. They also talk about Shirley and the barbershop days. Take a listen. You have one minute remaining. You have 60 seconds remaining. All right, right there. Okay, I'm going to call you right back. But keep talking, keep talking. You good? I said I'm going to send your folks some money so you can call me right back. I want to talk to you. I'm going right. to put that conversation on the internet. Okay, all right. You heard me? Yeah, you got a call. All right, the caller. All right. Thank you for using Global Telling. Go ahead, sir. They, they ain't killed me yet. They trying. Ain't nobody going to kill you but God. I got no time soon. Yep. Yeah, that's ahead. what I done told you. I done told you over and over. Fuck them folks that listening. Hold on, we're going to get straight to y'all. Fuck y'all. One, again, I said it. Um, Two, I told you, man, just chill, man, because one thing about it, these folks going to keep on trying to get now create some shit on you, man. I don't even understand what call number one was. Call number one was, I'm going to put some money on your folk. I'm going to send some money to your folks, and I'm going to give you a call back. I don't, okay. I got to chill. You know what I'm okay. saying? But what you be saying on them motherfuckers, cause they don't, they just told you months ago, these folks trying to, trying to get your ass up out of here. Hold on, There's more miserable hold on, hold on. people what? than happy people out here, Claire. Wait, now wait a minute. What now? Can you talk so loud? There's more miserable people than happy people out here. Yes, it is. Yes, it, it is. It, 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 it people that sit in the house all day that ain't got nothing but time. So these people that sit around, they're, they're doing what they be doing. Hey man, it's gonna be all right. You yeah, know, cause the, the conversation, like for instance, they don't put one of the headlines up. They're trying to say that um, basically that y'all was talking talking crazy about 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 Marjorie and and um this and that, but that wasn't even what the fucking conversation was about. Wow. So they just say they they made the headline just so 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 people can come look at it. But at least you looked good up there. Oh, where? <laughs> I don't think you hear what I'm telling you, bro. They don't leak the conversation. Yeah, I got that part. When you say I'm looking good up where? And I'm telling you, they don't put, they take, or they take your pictures. They chop y'all shit up and put the picture up there while you can listen to the conversation. Wow. 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 So start talking so much shit on the folks. This is what I want to know is what is the point in running him back all of this information. You know what I mean? Like, what is the point? Why would they even like, if my family member was in this type of situation, the last thing I'm going to do, if I know that they suffer from like anxiety or they're just a little fragile, I would not be running this back to them, but it's just so weird. It's strange to me. The phone about, about both. Even though we know it's just regular conversation, you, but yeah, motherfucker that don't know you don't know how you really talk. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. right. That's all. Because that shit, they'll have them folks in a society way on the, on the other folks' end. 
Right. I ain't got, right. I, yeah. 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 They say they got me on one of the conversations. I'm like, shit, I ain't out. Give a fuck. Who I know I ain't that? said it. Yeah. Nah, but sure, I'm on one now. I'm but <laughs> talking, about, talking about the, about the truck and shit. Like, you know, but I know I ain't said nothing about crazy about, about, about her because they're my folks. What? So yeah, I ain't get a chance to get to it, but you know, folks be spending that shit. I don't be, man, I don't be looking at that shit, man. Yeah. I just listen to. But you know what, diamonds and lip gloss, it doesn't matter, girl. It doesn't matter. See, sometimes when people feel like pressed upon, they have to create scenarios to make themselves set apart and feel better. Trust me, like for me. I actually put this stuff out. I actually, you're listening. I'm listening too, but I actually, you know what I'm saying? I am part of the people, the the system that puts this stuff out. I give zero Fs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm spending no time justifying. I don't care if I was sitting around. And, and what about it? You know what I'm saying? You should feel even further from that. You know what I'm saying? You are here on YouTube for some entertainment. I'm I'm providing it. You know what I'm saying? So, girl, these people are trying to justify in their minds how they became, how they are, how they've been put into this situation, and try to feel better. So, by diminishing those who find this entertaining and those who make a bag from it, girl, give it not a second thought, honey. It's not even worth a thought. It's not even worth trying there. to I qualify like nor quantify. Yeah, man. Okay. Folk, man. Wow. Yeah. They just okay, guys, we have a caller. We're going to, you know, if you're, ex so I don't think anyone is expecting this to run straight through at this moment. This was posted like a week ago. If you want to watch this, it's in the description box uninterrupted, but we've got Joey on the line. Hi, Joey. How are you? Long time no here. Happy Friday and happy holidays. Joey, you are on mute. <laughs> Maybe Joey's now? getting himself ready. Hey, Joey, how are you? Hi, Fran. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I haven't talked to you in like at least <laughs> maybe a month or so. It's been a little minute. You got to you have to put the uh, call in out a little bit more so I can get in. You know, okay. Yeah. You know, sometimes we have so much to talk about, like before I can take a call. You and have then to make a way. It's like I, yeah, we have to. Well, it needs to get back to Thursdays. Is is just I go live and it's like, bougie gang. It's all about you, and I'm dropping it. So, we're we're gonna get to that. Where I really feel like Thursday is the day of just call in. So that's what it's gonna be. Um, and that's that's just it'll just be open floor talk about whatever you want. You know what I mean? Whether we're talking about this case or we're talking about anything else. So I will do that. Thank you. Thank you for that feedback. I appreciate it. You're welcome, ma'am. <laughs> so what do we want to talk about tonight? What is, uh, what is the issue? What is the topic? What is, what is, what's bothering you? Gosh. Well, there's still a lot to talk about in the case. So I've been spending a lot of time um, trying to get, in my mind, organized each case so that it's like, okay, this is the case where this happened. This is the case. So I want to be able to provide, my goal is to be able to provide a synopsis for the seven open cases to Correct. where you or Pine, Pine or SNS as a viewer can say, oh, that's the case with the teacher. That's the case with the essay. That's the case with the CP. That's the case with the vet. That's the case. And so we know all of that. And then as we are, you know, maybe things are going to pick up in 24 where we might see some more hearings and um, maybe some traction on some of these cases, we can actually really know what's going on. I'm hoping so that it that's, does. That's one of my goals. I'm hoping that it does. And, and the more I think about this, unfortunately, I'm starting to uh, I'm starting to side with with Nesto a little bit. Mm, I, go ahead. I think the uh, I'm starting to believe that the bail is a little bit too high because mm -hmm. I would love nothing more than to see him get out of jail and watch his activities as he's out. OK, you know what? I'm not I'm not opposed to that either um, because he will be on an ankle bracelet. Mm -hmm. And is he going to like 
is Nesto is free Nesto um is Nesto, let's say, free and unencumbered? Well, not unencumbered because he'll have a ankle bracelet on. But if he is out on bond, um, he'll be tracked. I mean, he he he's he's not going anywhere. And you know, we just got we just had a there was a big case in Atlanta over in Clayton County this week where mm-hmm. we had a, a young lady that killed a man, mm. uh, a, a motorist. She mm-hmm. and she she's been out on bail for three years, and she killed him. She shot him. She killed him. So well. I can't Uh, think of the woman who killed her boyfriend, but Michael Sterling, the husband of uh, he was a real housewives husband. um, He's the attorney for this woman. And there was a domestic situation where the police officers did not separate the couple and it resulted in a homicide. Um, The boyfriend was killed and um, the girlfriend was actually convicted. Um, maybe a class two felony. I believe it wasn't murder, but maybe it's like a manslaughter or something like that. But the aggravating, the judge was really kind of annoyed that the police did not follow domestic violence protocols. So they're in the process of doing appeal or maybe even request, not maybe not requesting a new trial, but anyway, all of that to say they released her pending the new trial on an ankle bracelet with many stipulations, but she's actually a convicted murderer yeah with circum- See, so with, with aggravating circumstances so i get it i'm not opposed to him being back out because to your point monitoring his actions is he going to go back to work again is he going to start calling the females is he going to start soliciting money is he going to start borrowing again is he going to start willing and dealing that's that's what i would like to know does he go back to business as usual cuz this man seems to have a very you know, he he has a way of operating and this his charges are not new. Like these are charges that he's very familiar with and he's beat once upon a time. What Correct. Do you, what you're talking about, like kind of to see, is he going to go back to his ways? I would like to see him out and see how he, how he uh, if I were a king, I'd have a film crew follow, following him mm-hmm. uh, just to see him maneuver. What would he do? Where mm-hmm. would he go? Can he go? Can he talk to Shirley? Will Shirley talk to him? Or surely mm-hmm. say, come on, let's talk about this. Here's a couple of bucks. Now get out of my house. I don't want to ever see you again. Mm-hmm. What does he do? Where does he go? How does he, you know, how does he, how does he kind of maneuver through life without the trappings of, of uh, materialistic wealth that he's been the using? The Rolls Royces. The Rolls and... Royces to, to write, to get over mm-hmm. on or, or to make these, to make these things happen. How does that work? But uh, listening to him, again, I've listened to him mumble so much. It's starting to make sense a little bit. And it just kind of, I, I go, you know what? He's right. These are all accusations. He hasn't been convicted of anything. You have these ridiculous, you have this, you know, it's a pretty, it's a very high bond. Uh, and I, I'd like to see it lowered where he could, you know, he could act. I mean, it's fair. I mean, it, not that I think he's a good human being or anything, but it's, it's, it's just fair. And to let him out and, to, and certainly we'd go to, and let the court process take, uh, let the court let that process happen. We can follow him in the court because I'm looking forward to that and mm. uh, uh, and just see where it goes from there, because that's when it's going to get interesting is the courts. When he starts when he start having trials and courts, uh, that's when it gets interesting. That's when these these victims come forward and kind of flesh out their initial statements, because those statements are full of holes. There's a lot of stuff missing. There's a lot of, you know, the two victims, the, the teacher and the uh, real estate lady. There's just there's the teacher is pretty more up front. The real estate lady isn't. There's something that's just not, there's something missing. And I understand that people aren't going to tell you everything, but there's things missing that I would like to know. What did this guy how did this guy convince you to continuously give him money over and over and over again? Because I'm going to tell you, Nesto is going to say the women gave me that money. Mm. They gave it to me. They gave it to me. Can I help it that they wanted to give me money? Because if you read their statements, that's what it appears like. Yes, and that's what it appears to me. Like it gave them the money. No one, you wouldn't give a person money. If I stole a thousand dollars from you, you wouldn't give me another thousand dollars. You just wouldn't do it. Most people would not mm-hmm. do that. But these people repeatedly gave him money time and time over and over and over again. So uh, the, the the trials, you know, Sylvia is going to be out there with the trials, and I'll, I'll probably. I'll probably go to the trial. I have to see this in person. 
Um, I'm just surprised that the lady. So the lady who is the um, the the person with the Mercedes. Let's say this: the, the Mercedes yes. lady, the one hundred ninety-one thousand four hundred and whatever. The, blah, blah. the, 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 the real person, estate lady that needed him to find lady. that needed him to find real estate. See what I'm saying? I I just don't understand how she got herself in such a pickle with this guy and what made her think initially that he was not someone she wanted to do business with, but then thought he changed his ways, but then realized, ma'am, it, it he may just be worse. Like what what are you thinking? So I, and then I think I think she had pre I think she had previous dealings with him. Again, it's what people are not saying. It's it's something just doesn't it doesn't make sense. Who gives somebody twenty thousand dollars, a check for twenty thousand dollars to David's Diamonds? Who who does that? What were you expecting to get? Girl, I, well, the woman couldn't even. Well, the woman. Okay, so the real estate or oh, whatever agent. the name was, yeah. She gave him so it was like Dan Danalo and then yeah. Dan Daniel and then later obviously it was Danielle. So they had to do like three Daniel take Diamonds. three on the yes. um on the issuance of the check. But what made her think to disperse money to a jeweler to his assistant, which maybe she was supposed to be doing the social media work? Then there was another person who we don't know who this person is. Um, because he told her to. Because he, he, told, cause her he to. told her to. I, you know, look, hypothetically, or maybe just let's make an assumption here. Let's go down, walk down assumption way. Maybe they were having an affair and she decided that she was going to be free with her funds. I don't know, but there's no, there's no contract. There's no, I mean, if there is a contract, it's not part of the documentation. And I think the police would have said that. So there's no contract. And there's no itemized. This is this. These are the terms of the contract, and these are the services that need to be provided within X number of time. And you know, this is the ask. These are the items, and then these are the ask and the deliverables and a timeline. Like none of that was illustrated, as far as we know. And a lot of money changed hands. I mean, it was almost two hundred thousand dollars. So it she was. has a right. Set and I think she has the right to call authorities, but it was it's a bad business deal at best as someone who <clears throat> is of means to be able to liquidate very quickly without having to get any loans or anything. This woman had liquid capital, right? But there's no law. There's, there's no law against stupidity. If I right. ask you to give Absolutely. me two hundred thousand dollars and you do it, that's not against the law. It, 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 I, I hate to say it, but it's not against the law. So it's not against I'm the law. So I'm wondering, were these are so okay? So outside of those, outside of kind of like the Tinder. So Tasha K said that Tinder swindler, mm -hmm. um, all of these. Um, what was that guy? The doctor, uh, the one who the, um, gosh, the, the doctor. Yes, the one who. Um, uh, swindled the woman um, and he was pretending to be a doctor. But any of these um, mm -hmm. these type of lo romance scammers, right? Um, but outside of that, we've got the CP and then we also have the aggravated um, sexual assaults. Then there's the whole thing with Erica King. So I'm wondering if on anything, are they really going... Because it's like you've got the scams, the quote-unquote scams, You've got the uh, the forgery, identity theft, impersonation of a lawyer. You even had someone from his camp calling someone, trying to kind of tamper with a witness in a way, um, calling as Mr. Josh Jones, um, mm -hmm. calling a, a potential witness. Which he's going to which he's going to deny. Which he's going to say I had nothing to do with that. But that why me. would someone who's calling you in the jail? Why would why would a phone number that is recognized as someone who's a, a friend and partner of yours call someone who has like why would that happen? I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's a good answer though. I don't know. 
Okay. I don't know. But then that I, I can't right, answer that, that. I don't that's, know. That's the perfect answer. Well, no, from you know. and from him, that would be the perfect answer. What do you think <laughs> about? But you know what I mean? Like they're innocent until proven guilty. So the best thing Correct. to do is to not give an answer, right? Um, yeah. what about the child, the CP and this the, the, C, really the CP? The C the CP is a binary. Either uh -huh. you got it or you don't. That's a that's a binary. Either you have it or you don't. Either it's there or it's not. So that's the okay. only problematic. That's the only problematic uh, charge that he has because that's a that's a yes or a no. Either you you're either you're in, either you're in position possession of that stuff or you're not. And I and I believe that they have they've got something that they can mm -hmm. hang their hat on when it comes to that. Uh, as far as the uh, the assaults go, the assaults. Again, I don't. This is all, this is an alleged. This is all. These are all alleged. But it seems a little strange that these assaults come from the person who had the stolen car. I mean, it and it, they come from the same camp. And who? And if you listen, and if you read the, if you read it, it's the assaults happened over a, a He assaulted me this year. Then he assaulted me again the next year. I met him to so I I met him so he could assault me again. It just doesn't it doesn't it was pass a very the smell prolonged test. kind of period of reporting for the abuse, right? You know, um, and then we we never really know why people do those things, that is, but that is true. it's kind of one of those things where that's her story and that is correct, you know. And it's an allegation. Again, he mm -hmm. will have to answer that. He'll you'll have right. to get in front of you have to come. You have to come forward. You have to expl give your side of it. And he has to give his side of it. And um, so that that's one that I'm a little. It's almost uh, in the I, in the light of the case of Cassie versus Diddy. It's almost kind of even though obviously they had a very established relationship but mm -hmm. in the in the in that kind of a situation where you have someone who is traveling and they're paid and they're working and they're this and they're that and um and they're saying that this is still going on um and they have opportunity to get i mean it's almost really kind of a very similar thing but once you know sometimes victims of abuse don't really like the mental uh, they have more mental shackles over them than they may have physical. So even though the appearances that they could get away or ask for help, sometimes they don't. Um, but I really, I'm, I'm not able what, to what really, I, you know. What I do know is mm -hmm. if, uh, if the assault victim, if she can, if she can prove he was where she says he was at that time, these things happen. The, the, mm -hmm. the, that's that's very strong evidence. So, mm -hmm. uh, and and being in a Walmart parking lot is very easy to confirm. So, um, I, I, there there's based on tw 2023 our standard of law, which is which is a lot of c circumstantial when it comes mm -hmm. to that kind of thing. So, if she can prove that he was there at that time, uh. Again, he'll have to answer that. He'll have to go to court and say, you know, what happened at this time in this parking lot at this place. And he, and and he and if he was there or wasn't, if, if you say it was on the 15th of this and we check the cameras for the Walmart parking lot, because there is a, a camera watching and that mm -hmm. uh, motor coach is not there. Well, then mm -hmm. uh, you may stand that you may say, see, I told you it, it didn't happen. But if that motor coach is there and, and they have a video of you, of the, of the person going in it and exiting out of it, uh, it can be pretty damning. So uh, so those are the two I'm worried about. The but the financial crimes uh, just they, they just fall to they fall. The financial crimes to me seem to be at the level of just s people are just either being uh, either really gullible or maybe he's mesmerized them with with the toys i don't know i, I can't explain it I, I he's able so, to but he's able to do it i'm wondering if they're able to so some of these crimes so let's just say the teacher for instance with using the credit card i get it um 
And she says those were unauthorized charges. Okay. The teacher on the, uh, the Mercedes, the real estate agent, on the other hand, there mm -hmm. were some wire transfers. There appears to be like, to me, there's some low key money laundering. I don't know that when he purchased that first Prevost and then went to purchase the second one, you know, using the first Prevost with the Mercedes and then, um, you know, basically kind of flipping her money and kind of washing it in a way and then yes. using that to purchase a Mercedes wagon for his wife. Like it was very calculated. He took her money. He bought a coach. He then took that coach that he never put in his in her name, even though she requested it, which I don't understand. Where's the emails? Where's the text? Maybe she has that. I don't know. That may have been provided to the police. Who, who then he purchases some, something else. I a a very who, get, who gives somebody two hundred thousand ninety thousand dollars, and they don't personally accompany that money. I don't know. Even like anybody <laughs> would. But I mean, I'm not. It, I'm going to even say a millionaire, not a billionaire, but I'm going to say even a, a someone who has you know nice pockets lined up isn't going to just quickly give someone a hundred thousand dollars and be like, okay, I'll see you next week. Like Correct. this woman has to have a little bit of coin and for her to have this money accessible to her to just give him for the use of some sort of a business location as a RV bus, like ma'am, what? And then you find out he doesn't put it in your name and then you give him more to go and do the same thing again. Mm -hmm. And then yes. he does it again, and then he takes it and flips it and buys his wife a car. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and he takes and he takes your car. He says, "Give me the title to your car. I'm gonna get you another car." This is after he has shystered you out of the ninety thousand dollars, and you do it. There is something again. I want these people on the stand, and I want to ask those questions. How there's going to be a lot of crying and tissues that they were having affairs. It's that's that's all that it can be because these women were all being getting massages and all of the things from this man. They're going to have to come clean that there were some affairs going on and why, you know, and if there are contracts or emails and things like that, why are you continuing the teacher who clearly didn't have a lot of money, um, but she had credit was still mm -hmm. allowing him to use her credit cards. Who he, gives somebody all of their credit cards? Who are you having an affair with that comes to your house? And then all of a sudden he asks you, do you have some things you need done around the house? And he asks you for $500. I'm like, <laughs> to pay, to pay ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, you would, I would have thought he was going to go to his trunk and get a hammer or something. But he asks you, do you need some help around the house? And then he starts taking a list and tells you, I need $500 because I have somebody like, this is not even someone who's trying to impress you by saying, I've got a guy and I'll take care of it. Correct. He's like, I've got a guy. And it's going to cost pay for you. It. And then they never show up. It's just like, are you kidding me? This is crazy. That's the problem. That's my issue. That's how on a stand, if I were a juror or a judge uh, hearing this, it, there is, you know, there's a there's school of hard knocks. I mean, I can't, I can't protect you against you. If you do dumb things, if you play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. This is this is one of those deals. I can't protect you against you. It's not like he went and he stole the money from you. It's not like he knocked you over the head and took the money. You gave him this money standing on your two feet. You weren't drugged or drunk. You you purposely gave again. Who gives anybody all three of their credit cards? If you only have three credit cards, who gives somebody three? all three of their credit cards to go purchase and, and appliances, their car and the car. Who the does car. that? Who does that? I don't, I have never heard of, I have never heard of anyone working to this. I've never seen anybody work to this level ever. My hat's off to them. I've never seen anything like it. I, this is this, I, you know, hitting somebody up for a couple of bucks, you know, writing, forging their checks, stealing their accounts is one thing, but this is taking your money 
you're literally giving him your money. And I then, actually saw a case with him. I'm sorry I interrupted. He there was a case maybe 2017 or 2018 with someone named Jennifer somebody and I feel like I screenshot it last night. Um and it ended up going to civil court. I was like, "What?" Um it was just another situation. Is this her? Um I I have to find it, but it was I think it ended up going to civil court or something like this guy has a history of these. That's the only thing I think they see that he has a history of this and there's got to be some like, when does it become a problem for the community? Like, is it just something that because he's sleeping with these people, he gets to get away with stealing? Because he really is stealing. I mean, there's no, theory, there's no law. There's the no allegations law. he's stealing. There's no law. I, I can't protect you from you. If you if if I come up to you and say, Fran, give me one hundred dollars and you give it to me, I can't, you can't go to the police and say, hey, you stole my money because, uh, you know, no, you gave it to me. Well, but they're saying he promised services and he promised some things. So what uh, about that? I if there's, there's show me, nothing show me the in contract. Writing. Show right. me the contract. Show me so show me in about, writing where I said that. What if when they found some of the paperwork in his truck? They found paperwork for his vehicles that were being repossessed. Do we we I don't we, think yeah, I, I know don't they know found if they that. cataloged everything like like we know the full catalog. What Correct. if they found the document with the blood oath on it? What if they found that bloody the blood oath paper? Uh, that would be interesting if they did. But what if they didn't? Mm. Even more, it, it, mm. even more, pro, even more problematic is if they what didn't. about at the house? The house, they said that there were legal documents and notary stamps. Uh they had a lot of uh look like it looks as if they had a lot of uh stationery some some notary stamps some legal stamps they were certainly forging documents but that was the house that i believe erica king was living in remember there was two yeah, homes yeah that's right um, so that's what i'm pulling now i need to get those erica king documents because i'm wondering is so erica's free and nesto is not that's that's some of the irony too. Um, how, like, I wonder, is it heavier on the Erica side of this kind of conspiracy fraud? Rico is, are we looking at Nesto as the Rico or should we really be looking at what Erica King had going on? Cause they said she's been like a pastor. <clears throat> she's been like a I think, motivational I think Eric, speaker. I think she's Erica been doing everything. I think Erica is the mechanic and Nesto was the Nesto was the fisherman. Nesto would bring him in and then Erica would do the work. So I think he's been in and out of the system long enough to insulate himself from anything that, that would put him in jail, incriminate mm. him. He's not, he, again, he's not stupid. He's been, if you've been in the system as much as he has been in and out of jail and trouble like he has, he's smart enough not to, not to put himself in a situation where he would have to, where he, so could, you think actually, down. so this is because this is what I'm, I mean, it's been a long time and long time as in there's no indictment or anything yet. I'm right. wondering if Nesto has done enough to get himself, he's done enough to get himself to where he's at right now, which is incarcerated in the jail pending indictments, but the indictments are slowly falling apart, right? So, He's but he's put himself into a situation. Here comes Erica King, not once but twice, trying to get him out of trouble, pretending to be a lawyer. This is not seems to be not the first time that she's been impersonating a officer of the court. And then she's also got legal instruments at her house that are making her look a little fishy. Then they get tied in together because there's some sort of tie in between some of these contract leases and also these houses are positioned right next to each other. So is it possible that it's Erica King who potentially was running the criminal enterprise or something was going on? And because he keeps Again, putting it back on Erica King, like I'm here on some technicality. 
I'm, I want to know what the conspiracy is. Cause he even says, I don't know what the conspiracy is. I need to understand now, all of a sudden, a year and a half later, he wants to understand what the conspiracy is like, you don't know who you were. They said you've been dealing with this woman for 20 years. How do you not know? And again, I think he has over time figured out how to insulate himself from any thing, from any of the mechanics of these things. So he brings the people in, he turns them over to somebody else. They kind of, you know, split the booty at the end of it. And that's how it works. Wait, be clear so, on the booty so people understand what the booty because people the, might be thinking the money. booty. Okay, yes. <laughs> the I, money. I know what you meant. Pirates but I just want to make sure everybody, yes. Okay. The bag. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so naughty. They split the bag. The, uh, <laughs> can you I, I think can you the, um can you um elaborate a little bit more on your point? Because you're getting a little bit of heat in the comments. I don't know if you've seen this. I think some people are like confused because they're like, wait a second. How's how, what is Joey saying? Like, is he softening for Nesto? Is he defending Nesto? So, can you, um, can you kind of state your position as it is today? Because, look, a lot of people's positions are fluid, um, because this is an ever changing situation. Some people are dug in the sand on how they feel about this whole thing. Can you explain? Uh, because some people are like, oh my god, Joey is is he defending Nesto out here? Can you give us an idea? Oh, we lost guys. We lost Joey. Okay, Joey, call back. Um, let me let me pin the thing again, just in case you guys don't see it. Hold on. Um, and anyone else is welcome to call in too. We were just we were talking for a bit, um, but Joey, hopefully Joey will call back. Um, I want to address something. Who is this, Lonnie? You better stop talking. You better stop saying. K A K are you talking about Carl Thomas? K space space on YouTube. What is that? What is that? What are you talking about? Who is K space space L? What is that? Can anybody elaborate on that? Or was that just a troll? Because I don't know what they're talking about. Car if you're talking about Carl Thomas, that's C. That's spelled with a C, not a K. So I'm not sure what you're talking about. And um, no one's talking about Carl Thomas. Carl Thomas's baby mom was on Sonia's channel the other day. That's that's what that is. So um, Lonnie, um, can you state your position clear so we know what you're talking about, ma'am? Um, Joey is back. Joey, can you tell us what you're thinking about? Um, can you hear me, Fran? Uh, yes, I can hear right, you. What was, what, was, mm -hmm. what was your question again? I'm sorry about that. Um, can you let people know what your opinion is on Nesto. People were feeling like you're going a little soft on Nesto. I'm not going maybe... soft. I'm okay. not going, <laughs> so, I'm not going soft on him. What I'm going is we have a process. We have a legal system and we, we can't let our emotions kind of take over that process. I'm just saying I think that his crimes, what he's been accused of, not not convicted of, accused of, I am not so sure that they raise to the level that his bond should be. And he spent about a year and a half, almost two years in jail. I mean, it's getting it's getting pretty late in jail already. So I think that his bond should be probably lowered to where he stands a reasonably reasonably decent chance of raising the money to get out. I think his bond right now. Uh, and I just believe I just believe that. And and because there are people out on the streets, literally, we just in Atl in Clayton County, Georgia, there is a girl that just went to jail today who literally shot a man in the street and was out on bond for three years, killed a man in cold blood. And he, he, she was she's been on bond the entire time, three years. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we have to we have to even though we don't like it sometimes, we have to show a little bit of fairness in our system. So I, I'm just saying that. And the courts will deal with him when he goes to trial. And mm -hmm. we'll find out all the details and all right, the truth. Him then. getting That's out of saying. jail. Let's say he got out of jail tomorrow. That doesn't mean he's free and clear. He is not free. He's still pending, he's still pending <laughs> prosecution. Correct. He would just be not sleeping in the jailhouse. But he Correct. would be he would be free under the charge of the city still, but he still has to report. That's why when we hear the hearings, 
They want to know about his FTAs, which means failure to appear. They want to know that like it's important when they say he's he's rooted here. Okay, guys, I got it. The person was saying, don't say, okay, you know, unalive. I don't, did we even say that? I don't know if I said it or not, but it's okay. Thank you for looking out and I appreciate it, but we're good on that. Won't say it. I don't even know when I said it, but if it was said, okay, we're uh, good. Okay. okay. Um, someone said unalive or maybe, I, I don't know when I, I grew up. Oh, I that's right. No idea, yes. But, you know, sometimes. Yes. Oh, yes. did that yeah, I, I said, it? I think I said it. I was I was referring to the case. To, to the oh, case today. the case. I mean, yes. it's fine. Uh, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm not worried about it, but I think that if it's gratuitous and it's, you know, I mean, the algorithm is able, you know, I mean, the computers are designed to understand these conversations to a certain degree. And it's, I'm not, it's, it's okay. Um, at this point, like, we're not even talking about that now, but anyway, um, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Like it is time for him to have an opportunity. If if they see fit to let him have a, this and is my again, stance on it. If the judges, if the judge sees fit to lower his bail and he can pay for it, let the man sit at the house with an ankle bracelet until it's time for him to go to court. I just honestly, I think these cases are going to be falling apart. They, it doesn't. It just seems like why is it taking so long? for them and, and, to put these cases together. So it almost see, feels and, like they're going to fall apart. And that's another unfairness. You, It's not fair to put you put a person in jail while you build your case. That's not fair either. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a violent offense or something. It's not fair. It's not fair to put a person, to lock a person up and then, then do your homework to build a case around them while they're locked up. Th that's not necessarily fair either for, for a potential crime that we may discover in the future mm -hmm. that's that's there's there that's not that's not fair unless the person poses a threat to society if if that person's out which in my mind i don't think he does uh, mm -hmm. you can put enough restrictions on him where he can't communicate with anybody and he can't be around things and uh what have you and has an ankle monitor and you have to mm -hmm. monitor his uh actions and i think he would be fine so i mean look at brian kohlberger i mean he was it's like having the boogeyman out on the street they were once they got brian kohlberger people could sleep at night in idaho and people were scared because sir came through in the in the still of the night whomever it was allegedly brian kohlberger and this person came through in the still of the night and took out a whole entire house full of people Minus right. one person. Well, minus that two people. Would, right. And he that was very, threat. very scary. And people he are. Yeah. He poses a threat to the mm -hmm. community. Right. Nesto, Nesto's, Nesto's biggest threat is your purse. Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and something, both of them. <laughs> and uh, that's his threat. That is his threat. And you have to be very careful about that. Which we all, which if you've been watching this show, everybody knows, all God's children know, to, to be aware of Nesto. Nesto, uh, yes, Nesto is is someone who you should not who you, look, keep everything that's that is uh is valuable, lock it up. Right. So we all know that. So again, I would like to you know out and just do just as a fly on the wall, I, you know, as a. I would like right. to see black him hourglass. We're not debating whether he's a he's a look. He doesn't have to. He doesn't even have bond on that. So it's almost not even worth debating. Um, it's just the fact that the other charges he should be able to have an indictment. And I, I definitely like it's like I, I'm just thinking in 2024, we're going to have some traction. Hopefully you're going to have some traction. And it, it is what it is. His bond's going to be what it is. Because tomorrow, if he had bond and he could meet the bond, he's going to be out with an ankle bracelet. Like, that's just a reality that we have to kind of start to think about. Because none of us, I don't live in that municipality and I have no say over it. Um, and there's only, there's 432 people here right now, 423, excuse me. Um, none of us really have any say over that. If the wheels of justice start moving and um or 
or move in the way that they see fit to allow him to let, be back out on the streets. Um, my thing is I'm waiting for court to start to happen. That's what I would like to kind of really see start to happen is the cases. Now, Correct. as far as him getting out, if he gets out, he's still pending charges. So no one's saying that Nesto needs to be free and clear. I'm certainly not saying that. I don't think Joey's saying that either, but it isn't really, um, he's saying, so I, I would just wonder from a victim standpoint, is the victim even being, is the victim still active available with the case because my god this is going on for so long some people move on with their lives i wonder if this person is even still available and is still cooperating because sometimes people get tired and they just want to move on with their lives well again if you drag it out this long right that may be something that happens the victim right so it's like the very today. thing they want to do you they right. kind of are it's almost like they're cutting their nose off to spite their face. Like the longer that they're dragging this out, the the less accessible sometimes the victims are. Sometimes people don't. Now this case has more notoriety. What about the real estate agent? Does the real estate agent want to sit in Fulton County and be photographed for the internet now that there's a lot of bloggers who are involved? Um, you have judges giving um, rule the, you know, the passes um for was a rule 22 um for the for the press to be able to sit in and televise or witness um the the events surrounding the case so maybe in the rape case maybe not they might not want to um they may say do not photograph the victim things there might be stipulations right um but some people may not want to be involved in that the real estate agent this has been like a year now Maybe this person's closing multi-million dollar deals and doesn't even want to be associated with this anymore because it's a shit show. Well, that's true. So again, the the always I try to do it this way. Put yourself, don't think of don't think of Mr. Williams in jail. Think of somebody that is related to you or yourself or your child mm -hmm. or your father or your what if they were in jail? What what would you want for them? Uh, how would you want them to be treated? So you got to always think about, don't think about the person there. How would you want to be treated in that situation? So, and that changes your dynamic, it changes your focus I, about how you see it. I get that. I get that argument. And I, I, I guess maybe I'm not that empathetic. I hate to say it like that <laughs> because think, if, if my brother uh, if my somebody was a threat out here, if my the Gilgo, the Gilgo murderers, if uh what's his name? The guy from uh Gilgo Beach, um uh the guy who was out here potentially killing all of the prostitutes out on Long Island. Um, if I all of a sudden, you know, if I was that woman and that's her husband, I mean, no matter how I feel about him and I love him and all of those things, you're gonna have to sit like I what if all of a sudden the person I thought I knew, I don't know, you're going to have to stay. Yes, like I, maybe I been, might feel a way cause that's my husband. Rex, he is Rex a threat. Human, thank you. He's a, but he's a to threat society. to the community. He's yes. He's a and Nesto as, as amiable and as, as, uh, you know, he's kind of a, I don't know. He's whatever characteristics. I don't know that he's not dangerous. You know what I'm saying? So for me, where there's smoke, there's fire. I'm I'm just going to fall back to, I don't live in Atlanta and I'm going to trust what the justice system says that they're going to do. And if he has the money to pay for these bail bonds, then he can do whatever he needs to do. But well, that's, that's the, I'm just going to put key. it that way. That's how the, I the, can rest at night. I'm the, not, that's the, key. the decision's not up to me. Right. The key is, again, I didn't say he doesn't get a bond. Mm -hmm. it has no, I, I hear you substantial bond with controls he has you know mm -hmm. they're they're we we they we have there's there's things they can do positive control ankle bracelets mm -hmm. you got to check in time period he he's you know he's being accused of certain things so there's he has to he can't be anywhere he wants to be he has to be in mm -hmm. certain places so um I mean, so I, I just I, I'm just looking at it that way now. If yeah, no, I, I mean, I think a, that's a pragmatic way to kind of like practically speaking, you know, these things need to happen and these things need to advance because 
these are a lot of women who are complaining of these crimes. People's lives change quickly. People are getting into new relationships. People could be getting married. People can be going through other things. People can be moving. There can be so many different things to make people not want to have to deal with a situation again. Um, but, you know, I don't know if there was any kind of insurance policies. That lady who's out of $200,000, I mean, I feel bad for her, but hopefully this was a lesson learned. I don't know if she's able to recoup it. anything. I, um, I, I, I don't even know. Recoup it. They're trying to mm -hmm. recoup some of the, uh, they, they recouped the, obviously the vehicles. But again, you got to get her in, you got to get them in court. And we mm -hmm. got to hear, we got to hear what they have to say. We we mm. don't know. There's a lot of things we we are just a, we are we are flies on the wall looking at a an initial police uh incident report. That's what we got. So but we, let me we ask don't you know this. what the case is. So you've got a polished we're gonna just assume here. We I saw someone on the internet who I think to be this, let's say this real estate person a very polished, professional, very nice-looking woman um, sits on the stand against Nesto, Triple OG Nesto, and him sitting there talking about he doesn't know anything. He doesn't, he, I don't even know this woman. I don't, I, I don't even know what she talking about. Da, 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 da. And then she's like, and on this date we went here and on this date we went there. And then he sold me on this, that, and the other thing. And I had a business plan and booked it. How does, how does Nesto defend himself against a buttoned up, professional, established person who is accusing him of many different things along with fleecing her out of almost $200,000? Well, he doesn't defend himself. What a good attorney will do is look at the, the accuser and ask. The accuser has to, has to convince us that he fleeced her. Because because yes. no, okay. no, because no, he's innocent no, until proven right. guilty. So. No, yes. no reasonable person okay. would give no reasonable person would give that kind of money to a person unless there's some other kind of relationship there. Mm. So either you need to you're going to have to articulate why I, I see this case falling apart. Sis is going to be like, you know what? I'm good. Like, Correct. I don't because let's just say love lies and lace fronts and three other bloggers show up to the courtroom and I've got my 4K cameras. I've got my microphones and I'm reporting live from outside of Fulton County Courthouse. Guys, I'm here. And people start getting a little bit like, you know what? Um, I had a really good 2023 and God is good. And I'm going, I don't, I'm, I don't want to, I'm, I'm not witnessing anymore. I'm gone. And she takes off and she just decides, you know what? I'm not going to be, I can't. Look! Look what happened in the Megan The Stallion and Kelsey case, and uh, and Tory Lanes. Kelsey would not admit to almost anything, and Tory Lanes. Um, we know Megan was shot. I mean, I think some people even debate that, but Megan was shot, and we don't know. Tory Lanes has received a harsh sentence. Kelsey allegedly had a gun in her hand, um, according to Tory Lanes. Um, according to Megan, nobody is telling everything. So this is just one of those, another one of these cases where people aren't giving the whole truth and it, it leaves everybody with a question mark as to what happened. Good lawyers can do that, but, like, but <clears throat> to, in, in Nesto's defense. And then that's the, reasonable yeah, doubt then, right? The, the accuser. Oh my God. Did I just say reasonable doubt? <laughs> You have to get on the stand and you have to articulate to a jury why this man who is incomprehensible, who to us sounds, you know, to us sounds incomprehensible most of the time. <laughs> but again, I have a good friend that said, well, maybe when he's in person and he's able to touch and he's able to he's able to basically sense and, and he can he's better in person than on the phone than, than what mm -hmm. we're hearing. Mm. And I said, well, you, you may, that may be a point Maybe you may be right. Maybe he's able to, he's able to, uh, read you. He has a skill for that. He can read you and he can kind of say, and he picks certain people. He, he doesn't just do this to anybody. He does it to people he can do it to. Mm -hmm. And he, he kind of reads you and you have to get on stand and say, I am a reasonable, 
pragmatic person with good common sense. And I, after talking to this guy for, after knowing him for several years, you know, just on and here and there, uh, he convinced me to give him a substantial amount of money to do something. And he never did any of it. And I continued to give him money. And I don't know why I did it. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think the police tried some of that. You know, I don't know why I needed him to find me a building when I'm a real estate agent. Why would I ask him? I'm a, I, I'm in real, I'm in real estate. I, That's I'm what I found to be quite peculiar. Very that strange, he told yeah. her he was going to help her find commercial space. Really? And she's a whole real estate agent. And wouldn't she know other real estate agents? He's not a real estate would. agent. Of course. Um, so, so what is it now? So you, t so she would have to articulate to me what this guy was. And again, she may have a very, very good reason for it. I, I can think of, you know, there's only one, there's one or two I can think of. I'm not going to give them away because I don't want to give her, her, her alley. But one of them is we had a relationship. We had a, we had a, very intense, very strong, uh, romantic sexual relationship. And I just did whatever he wanted me to do. Anything he asked for, I gave it to him. Uh, and that would be an honest answer. And that would, that is something that most of us can understand. We won't like it. People wouldn't like it per se, but we could at least understand it. But if you walk, if you come to me and present yourself as a, educated, smart, intelligent, upstanding businesswoman who's who's middle aged on top of that. I mean, she's an older lady. Mm -hmm. uh, and you just flat out just gave him money because he looked like he had an honest face. I, I hate to tell you. No. You just, yeah. You just, you just lost your money. Well, I can like I've seen I I've this woman is a very attractive woman who's like right at 50. And I think she, she walks into court. I think people will be like, oh, okay. Like she's, she's a very nice looking woman, very well put together, very attractive. Um, 50. The more well put together you are, the more together you are, the more, the more it lends itself to you chose to do this. This was it's going to be, yeah, choice. it's going to be like, look, ma'am, what? Like, where's, so what, and, and the, the thing in the police report that gets me is that she did not trust him initially. She said that she didn't trust him initially. She saw how he was doing business and he kept asking her for money and she was like, eh. And then they met years later mm -hmm. and then they met again and then they met again and then now she's starting to throw you know the, the she the money's starting to flow so right. it was very interesting so yeah um look nothing has changed and this conversation isn't going to change anything as far as we know um what else is what do you what else like because there's a lot that's happened over the last month what's your take on the whole sonya thing like um, Sonya being a non-factor. I think a lot of people Sonya feel like... Sonya is a non-factor. I don't she, know what yeah. the fascination with Sonya is. I really well, don't. Sonya I think is a... Sonya is a... Sonya is a schemer, is a is a schemer who got scammed. Sonya is another... <laughs> Sonya, is a, Sonya got the worst of the vic, worst of it. Uh, <laughs> Sonya, it was, it was, Sonya was a hustler who got hustled. And You think so? Yes. She was with him because she thought he was going to be able to finance some of the stuff that she was but doing. But she's still here. She's still she's, here. So does, because, is she just extra dumb? Because you, because Naya keeps calling her a hoa. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and the bougie gang calls her a side chick. So she is... So she wants to So she's somehow, salty. Is that what you're saying, Sonia? That's is exactly salty? what it is. She's and when salty. you are wow. when, and when you're in your emotions and you get emotional <laughs> about something like that, you do stupid shit like try to get your own channel, try to you try you 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 do dumb <laughs> things by try, that's what you do because it's all emotional. It's but not she's slowly rational. becoming she's slowly if this goes to trial or when this goes to trial, um, let me not get anyone's blood pressure up tonight. When this goes to trial, is she getting a subpoena? She doesn't know anything. 
You think? Why does she, she know so much about? She seems to know a scenario revolving about um, how Nesto obtained a computer with CP she on it. She doesn't know anything. She does. In fact, she's hurting. That's not enough. She's doing. Yeah, she's doing more damage than anything else. She doesn't know anything. You think she's she, making up stories? She's making up. She's making up tall tales to she's try trying to, to be divert the traffic. She's trying to be relevant. Okay. She's trying to be relevant. She, you know, oh. she doesn't know. She's trying to divert from the fact that you guys Ooh. keep calling her a hoa. And she wants to sound smart, shit. right? And she wants to sound. She like wants she's to be helping. in charge. She's she in charge. Sound, she wants to sound like she's her friend, and she's just helping <laughs> she's him with his case. That's what she wants to do. That's what she's she's trying to convince the convince all instead of simply saying the truth, which is, yeah, we kicked it a couple of times, but you know, he went to jail, and that was that. So now he's in but jail. not really. It's like it's I guess she's also mad, too, because we've been able to pinpoint like, sis, you don't have a life and clearly you don't have a boyfriend. Like, what are you doing, ma'am? Like, like the well, record shows that you're on the phone with this man all day because no one knew that these records, were, <laughs> these things are going to get out. That's why. <laughs> That's why. Because nobody knew. she didn't know that that phone right. calls from prison was going to like, no, ascend. she did not, not only know that. Just not only just put the phone calls out, but they were going to do a data assessment of the frequency, the gravit, the gravitas Correct. of the of the relationships, and make the numbers make sense. Like they were going to illustrate the the data, which I find so hilarious. But that's and Nesto, she's mad but about that. But that's but that's Nesto calling her. That is him calling her. But that's he her needs... funding the phone calls. He can't make the calls unless she's funding it. Well, well. I mean, he's got he, his free call. He has his free five minutes on Mondays. I think he has. I think he has Dre and Dion sending her money to be able to do that. Yes. Yeah, so they, then he says, "I'm trying to send your people right. some money so I can so, talk to you." So I think he's. That's where that's. That's where that's mm -hmm. coming from. So he he is. He again the for me. The okay, Joey, your net your numbers are coming back up in the chat. People are like, okay, okay. Okay. For I, me, people are feeling better about what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we you have know, to pivot. Uh, yeah. We have to pivot to uh well, the least liked person on the YouTube streets. Well, and, you know, it and really, we're good again. <laughs> I mean I, I I mean, all right. Well, you know, well-rounded guy, you know, that's how it is. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. You know, I have my days. So I think that the, for me, the conversations that were the most interesting were the ones between him and Shirley because. Absolutely. Yeah. It was just this huge disconnect between the two of them. And I always would tell you, like I've said, they don't sound like a married couple. They Something mm -mm. sounds really, really saccharine about the whole deal. Something sounds really, really. It, it doesn't sound. It sounds artificial. It, it sounds fake. It's something. She wrong gives with this. frigid air. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she gives, she gives very, like, and I don't know if she's one of these people who warms up in public in person, but on the phones, she's giving frigid air. Like she's think, really icy with him, I and I feel like he makes her feel a little less than. I don't think she does it on purpose, but she's quite prickly with him. And I feel like he doesn't like she activates some of his insecurities. I think that's who she is. Mm -hmm. And I think the relationship is unbalanced. And the, you know, I think he's made some comments about why can you talk to, why do you talk to Sonia so much versus Shirley? And he says, I can, I can't say, I can't talk to Shirley that way. Uh, what, you know, and I would go as a, you know, as a guy, I'd go, what do you, I mean, what do you mean by that? What do you mean you can't talk to your wife that way? That's, that's very problematic for me. That's how I know something's wrong. Wait a minute. So you can't have these, these horny conversations with your wife. Well, it's uh, that Madonna it. whore complex. He puts Shirley on a pedestal. <laughs> Shirley is truly a trophy wife to him and trophy in the sense of he got a certain type of wife with a certain type of look and makes a certain type of money that gives him a certain type of status. And he enjoys that because even in his wheeling and dealing, the funny thing is, is that he wheeled and dealed all of that money just from that one victim, just to flip it, to buy her a G wagon and a diamond ring. He didn't go to Vegas. He didn't blow it out in the strip clubs. He took that money and bought her her favorite car and bought her a upgraded diamond ring. Like, what? 
So he does have some sort of reverence for her, even though it's quite twisted. See, I don't I don't believe that. I, I don't believe that at all. I don't think why he has do you think for... that he would um what's your what's your take on those transactions and all of those transactions yielded in gifts for his wife? What do you think I, about that? I, I think that if you're constantly getting going to jail multiple times, being kicked out of homes multiple times, Shirley is the Shirley is the golden goose. She's what gives him the credibility to do what he does. He can't afford he can't afford to lose her. He doesn't want to so lose. those were just accoutrement to be able Absolutely. to a means to an end. Those are just Correct. accessories Correct. to further the scenario of Correct. this power couple. Right. And this is what funds my, this be, is be, the keys to my access to the women who have this disposable Correct. income at my, at my fingertips to Correct. finesse. Correct. If you cared okay. about her, if you cared about her mm -hmm. as your wife, you would take that money, you'd wheel and deal and get her a house, a place where she could live. Okay. All and right, stop would, being evicted you, from everything. Correct. Absolutely. That's okay. what you would you would worry about. Mm -hmm. Maslow's, you know, step, you know, down at the bottom, you get those basic needs out of the way first. Not not trying to get her a G wagon. So that's how I know he doesn't care about he doesn't care about her. I don't think he I think he cares about her as a as a nice lady, but as far as his great affection, no, he does not. So what Absolutely about not. all this talk of trying to make it right? And um, Sonia is just kind of something to do. Like, who's looking for a man for five weeks in jail? Um, you know, he's said all these things. He said, like, no one's looking for no N-word for five weeks. Like, you know, like, and he even asked her, what were you looking for me for? Like, why were you, why? Well, because... She never really even had a good answer when he asked her, why were you looking for me for so long? What's when going he, on? When he's, when he's probing her, when he's talking to Sonia, what he's doing is he's working Sonia. He's trying to get her into his camp. He's working her. He's, he's basically trying to get her to, to, he's trying to feel and ascertain just how far he can go with her and how far she's going to go along with the ride with him. So Everything do you he's think... Doing, Everything he's doing is for is for effect, is is for that. I think it, it, he and he does he has these little tests with with these he has a little these little tests these women do, and that's how he knows that how far he can go. Do you think you know? he needs to cut? Like, is he making a mistake by holding on to her at this moment now that she's gone rogue? Holding do you think she's gone rogue? I'm just asking. Do you think she has gone rogue at this point? Like, is this part of his plan? Or, no. or have they diverted no. now and she's no. they're on her plan? Because it's, it seems that she's gone rogue. Sonia was with him again. She got involved with him because she thought he had money, resources. Right, right. He doesn't. So he doesn't. These calls have been released. She's been labeled a hawa. And a side I love chick. when you say that. <laughs> okay, well, I can't do it. I can't do what Nyla does. Uh, anyway, she's so funny. And, and, <laughs> and she's so, hilarious. Amen. So, Amen. You know, okay. So she's been doing. She's done that. <laughs> and she has to, and she's trying to make some money. She's she was with him to make money. There's no money to be made. So, and she hung with him while the couple of months he was in jail because he was telling her, "I'll be out pretty soon, and we'll." We're gonna get to, we're gonna get together and start working those things. You're gonna be with me for a long time. We're gonna get some things done. Blah blah. We can blah, get the blah, RV blah. park. We're yeah, gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go to that's NASCAR. That's why she was with. That's why she was yeah. with him because she thought he had resources. He does not. So now she's trying to get her own hustle going again because she's a hustler. She's a hustler that got hustled. She is. But this isn't her. I I stand on this is not her audience. This is a this no, is not, not. an audience of people who are going to buy. Like a lot of people are real salty because she's got like 1.3k subscribers. It doesn't mean anything. Like people are not going to watch. People get subscribers every day, and no one no one really has to tune in. She gets more views than she has subscribers, which means people are looking. But they're not buying. They're not what subscribing. She, she has and nothing to tell you. That's she the has issue. No, she has no. There's no grab. There's nothing there. The right. one story is the she got shot three times. She she. There's no grab. There's no grab, and everything is a secret with her. 
and everything is also kind of wrapped up in a riddle um sitting on top of a lie in a pile of shit well, that's and true. she can't really talk about she has <clears throat> painted herself in a corner so there's nothing that her youtube channel can really do that's why i'm like guys don't worry about it like sis will be gone in a couple of weeks like it's just there's not it's going to be frustrating for her because yeah, there's, there's nothing that she can really youtube you got to either have something or you got to be coming with some truth and because she can't do that because she's she's told too many stories it's not going to work for her it well, won't friend, why why do you think she's doing this i think she has a she has a little bit of obsession with kind of trying to make her place and whether you want to call that famous or whatever i think she sees it as a potential hustle she sees what, like what people like me are doing and other people might be doing and thinks she can do that i can do that too cuz i'm smart um like she said to nesto i'm smart um but i don't think that she understands that this is not as easy as she thinks it is and it does take a little bit it does it takes some finesse but it also does take some smarts and it really does take a lot of hard work and when you are when you have a lot of failed situations sometimes to me that says lazy you know um cuz everything can't fail when you're working really hard um that to me that means that she's not working hard enough to be successful cuz it sounds like she has lots of ideas lots of businesses lots of anything but i don't see anything being successful which means she's probably not working hard enough and youtube is something where you have to work very hard to be successful at it and to make you know if she wants to make some money making a couple of hundred dollars is is not going to seem like it's worth it when people are cussing you out and trying to dox your address like it's just not worth it <laughs> it's not we'll see you just validated my my you just validated what i said it it's a hustle everything with her is a hustle and again yeah. i think she just wanted to she started doing this to kind of clear her name. She went on Tasha Kay's show, which was a, you, you know, the first rule of, of, of crisis communication is, first rule is you never lie. You tell the truth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> first rule, rule number one, always tell the truth. So to go on, so to start off, to start off lying means that everything you say from that point on is essentially a lie. We can't believe mm -hmm. anything you say. So... Right. So the first thing is, do you have a relationship with? No, we don't. Never, never had sex with him. Well, we clearly know that's not true. And or from from your own voice, from your own with your own mouth, you have said that you have basically. So that's we we believe that to be an, an a a falsehood. So nothing you say from that point on is true. And that's where mm -hmm. it goes south. If I was coaching her i would i would say i would just say just tell the truth you know say what you did and be and move on everybody knows you're not going and you're not going to convince people otherwise so well, but also what was the goal of her being on <laughs> tasha k it wasn't even really to defend nesto because it went initially you, to her kind of defending herself it wasn't and about then, nesto it's about right, it was, you it's about you too right. it's about you it's about you and nyla Y'all have gone on. Really? Nyla, Nyla, yes. Nyla, particular. Nyla, really. She never even mentions my channel's name. Like, I <laughs> didn't even it's, know it's, she it's was you, even up on Bougie Gang. It's like, not I you, had but, no it's, idea. but it's, it's Nyla. It's Nyla, particularly. It's, All right, I'll be honest with you. It's Nyla. <laughs> it is. It is. It's her. You you cannot watch Nyla's show. I think <laughs> she was shook. The the and, expose. I, I like to call it the, ex, and, the night of the expose. Um, cause I remember I was in the grocery store and I was like, Oh my God, no, they did. like, it was quite entertaining from a YouTube street standpoint when those, when those nights happen where like all the tea gets dropped. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I know she had to feel a way about that. And, uh, just hearing the call to Nesto, which she was like, Oh my God, everything came out. She seemed almost a little thrilled though. Did you? What did you think about that? Like she wasn't crying. She was kind of, I feel like she was sort of jazzed a little bit. I think most people are. Most people, when they see, most people, when they, when they, if they turn on the TV and something that they've done is on that box, you're going to be jazzed initially until it sets in and you realize the ramp, 
the the next steps to that. Mm-hmm. You start realizing what that actually means. But initially, everyone's, you know, everyone's, oh, man, that's me on TV. Whoa, look at there. And then you start looking at then And as you watch it over and over and over again, you start. Did I say that? Did I look like that? Oh, man, I wish I never said that. Ooh, that was really stupid. That was a dumb thing to say. So that's the kind of thing that you get. So I think that's where it came from. And then she just, again, watching watching Bougie Gang and Nyla and uh, Sylvia, watching watching the, the whole biosphere of Nesto, uh, she, I think she just, I think. Do you think it bothers her? Came. We know more about the case than she does. I don't think so. Again, I think the fact that you keep calling her a hoa bothers her. I don't, I don't think call that. her a hoa. You don't because they call her a side <laughs> chick. I think that that shit really bothers her. I mean, I'm not. I'm. It does. And she, I'm telling you, I can tell. Why does side because, chick? Side chick is. It's just that's the position. It bothers her because I don't think the side chick thing bothered her as much as the Nyla thing. And she well, went on. She, okay, she put her, don't she put watch. Herself, she Nyla's put herself, not creating a program for her to watch. <clears throat> she should understand that this is not for her. This is for this is for grown woman vibes audience. This is not people, designed for Sonya. Sonya needs but, to tune out. Uh, but Sonya, other people that Sonya knows that are following this case are watching grown woman vibes. I and, I would never have told anyone to watch it if someone were roasting me on a nightly. I would never, nobody that I know can guarantee that I will never call them and tell them to go watch it. Never. Right. Now, if it was just a disembodied voice, <laughs> we didn't have her picture, she probably wouldn't care as much. But but now, but you knew who you, you didn't just have a voice. I've known voice. who she was for a very long time because I have the phone records and I knew her name and all of that, but I wasn't putting it out. You put her picture that out. Just... She, she did a couple of videos so we knew what she looked like. They mm-hmm. knew that she lived in you know where she was in Atlanta. I mean, so she has to get a get a, get ahead of that to to change that narrative because I'm not a hoa. She I'm knew a she had to know we knew who she was just from the put, putting out of her name initially. Like that didn't just come out of the thin blue sky, and also the calls that initially where her name was being said. Some of those calls, I don't even know if any of those, I'm not going to say none of those calls were played because there's been a lot of calls, but some of the calls where you actually really hear her say, like when she's talking to Nesto, we talked about a call like about two or three weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, and um, it was the first time she called Dion, and Nesto was, she was like, does does he know who I am? He's like, yeah, he's an OG. He knows exactly who you are. I've told him you're, I've told, you met him that night coming out of the, the motor coach or whatever. And, um, so she, and she's like, she, he knows my name, Sonia. And then she said her name a few times, but I just don't remember ever hearing that in a call. But I do remember the first, maybe like this, I don't know, the third or fourth call from, um, phone calls from prison, they, said her name and um all of the numbers at that time if you plugged any of the numbers into google everybody's name popped up lamont's name popped up full name sonia's full name popped up laverte's name popped up i don't even know if laverte ever even changed her number because if you plug laverte's in her name her number pops up shirley's name and you know her name address everything pops up like all of this information was very much accessible, but it it just you know, I think it was it was the phone calls. But I think That's, Sonia really made herself. Meanwhile, Sonia's in the bushes, commenting, trolling, all of those things. I think that she manifested this. She wanted no to one, be. She want. She manifested this. No one want again. She did not want to be labeled as that. And so the humorous well, you takes don't, she over. Didn't have, the, she didn't have control yeah. over that. She should have stayed well, in the bushes and maybe she would have her privacy today. But she decided well, to not do that. <laughs> the, the operative word is maybe. I think you you, you, pretty, you did a pretty good job of outing her, which again. Uh, I did the, not out her. Not, I didn't. The YouTube streets, did. let's say YouTube in total, outed did. her. The yeah. YouTube streets did. I'm mm-hmm. not saying you. I'm saying YouTube streets did. So I think she just wanted to defend her 
defend her position and make it clear that that's not what she was. And in the process, all she did was validate what you know. You you, you made yourself. What well, we you just validated. Right. You just validated it. So we 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 were saying this. Now that you've opened your mouth, now we know it's true, and you're not even smart about that. So you just made things worse. She didn't go on mm. that show to. She didn't mention. I mean, she did very little to help Nesto at all. In fact, in, in uh, so it was all about her. Even the calls that she, even the Miss Waller channel, it's really kind of all about her. It's not really about him. And to be honest with you, there's nothing she can really tell us about him, which is really the story. The story is him. So, uh, and again, for me, the, the conversations with him and Shirley have always been the interesting conversations. It's always been. Absolutely. I would use, and I, I would I would also, li I listen to just like the, uh, when he got notified. Joey, let me the, say uh, one thing real quick. We have a, sure. a caller holding behind. So just give us one minute. Uh, just finish your thought, and then I'm going to let the next caller up, okay? Um, but I just want to let that next caller um, just hold on, okay? Let Joey finish this thought, and then and then we'll we'll uh, let you on. Okay, go ahead, Joey. For the for the listeners, it's always good to hear him talk about a subject with Shirley, then talk about that same subject with Sonia. That's always an interesting thing because you get to hear, you know, how he doesn't want Shirley to to know anything. He minimizes everything. Uh, and then he talks to Sonia and then it's a completely different conversation. It, so that's what was interesting to me is like, it, it's like, he doesn't tell his, he did the very, again, that's how, you know, he doesn't, doesn't really, he's not crazy about his wife. He has done nothing to protect Shirley at all. Nothing. Part of, part of being a good husband is you protect your wife. Sometimes it means you got to tell her stuff. She doesn't necessarily want to hear, even if it's about you. He, and wow, he, and, he, and and he refused. He did, and he doesn't do that. You don't lie to and her. And he's leaving her in the dark. In the dark, right? And so she's walking into these. She's walking into these things as she wakes up in the morning. Mm -mm -mm. She, she's literally walking into them. You know, it, you know. Why not talk to your wife and say, "Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this is what they're gonna. T they're saying these things about me, and this is what they're saying." And I didn't. You know, he doesn't do any of that. He just tries to because. Tries to, eh. You know, the scenario about him warning her prior to things coming out, I think that's a lie. I never really I don't I don't feel like I got the gist of what I I don't feel like based on what he said that he communicated that, but he does that's what he, yeah he, he didn't really communicate that to Shirley. I think that's a lie he tried to say to kind of no make himself feel less of an asshole. Um, he doesn't. Joey, let me let this next caller up, but as usual, love talking to you. You always bring such a great perspective, and Bougie Gang absolutely adores Joey, so thank you so much for calling in. Um, thank you. And we'll do this again on next Thursday, okay? Thursday's great, okay? Okay. I'll be there. All right, you take care. Thank you. Thank you, Fran. Bye, bye, -bye. Joey. All right, take care. All right, bye-bye. Guys, everybody, give Joey like give him some give him something in the give him some champagne glasses or some one hundreds. Give Joey something in the um in the chat. Hello, hi, you're on. Hello, we have a sis who's here and. Is it, I'm here for the, is it, I'm here for the, let me see. Let me see what it says. Just a second, let me remove the banner. Is your mic, I think your mic is on, but you're not on mute. Um, we have someone backstage. Just one second. Okay, it should be showing. I'm here for the show. I'm here for the show. You're on. Can you hear me? I feel like I saw this person in the chat. We're going to give them a chance to come on. Um, you're backstage, sis. If you can hear me, um, you're here. Is there anyone else who wants to call him? But she is trolling bloggers before phone calls from prison. She was, she was in my comments in June. I put up a video. If you guys didn't see it, it's up. She was in my comments in June. And that the funny thing is, is I think that's the video with the hearing where Majeski says 
that there was the girlfriend, um, I will drop and try to join again. Okay. Thank you, sis. So the let's, I don't even want to go look at it now. Cause I don't, I don't want to make this call about Sonia because you guys have said enough in the comments that everything becomes about her. Let's give her a break for tonight. How about we do that? Like, let's not fall into the trap of making this not show not about who it's not about. Right. Um, Hey, live, laugh, love. What's going on, sis? Hey, friend. What's <laughs> are up? You? Are you with me on let's not make this about like this is this is an effort. Like I am. It's not even that I'm making an effort. I made a decision on tonight. We're not we're going to focus on the matter at hand. So I'm not going to even I don't even as the moderator, the chief moderator on tonight. I'm not going to allow the conversation to deviate to in her direction. Um, yes, she was trolling the chats. We'll talk about that on maybe tomorrow if you guys want to, but tonight we're going to focus on Mr. Nesto and, and maybe even Shirley or whatever else. Um, because this does get a thrill out of this and she has been trolling and she has been trying to steer the conversation. So yes, yes, yes. And yes, but you know, we have a say in that, right? Um, so I appreciate that. Thanks. Love joy. And then thanks also black hourglass. Yes, we are. We are sewing it out. Okay. So yeah, we, but we know that she's, she's part of the story, but she's kind of like a consequential part of the story, but we don't have to make her into anything more than what she is. Um, what do you say about that? Live, laugh, love. What's going on? I, sis? I totally agree. And if you saw the, the four hour chat, I was in the chat. <laughs> And I was asking some good questions, but one to bring it back to Shirley, one of the questions I asked her, Fran, was about sending Nesto the pictures of Shirley. And she pretty much, I'll sum it up in my words, okay, um, mm -hmm. was saying that she didn't see anything wrong with it. And I guess my question was, why did she feel comfortable going on Shirley's page and, you know, snipping pictures and sending them to Nesta? She pretty much said that um, she didn't see anything wrong with it. And then I left another comment saying I felt like it's a violation of Shirley's privacy because you don't know if Shirley wants him to have pictures of her, you know, at this point. And she said she didn't give a F pretty much and she was still going to do it. If he asked her to send him 20 pictures, she would send them. You know, she, you know, kind of, you know, took it there. But there's no boundaries with her. Um, you know, she's just willing to do whatever, I guess, to stay relevant and to, I guess, one up Shirley maybe and make it seem like she's the one that's sticking by him. And, you know, she's the one that's making things happen for him. So her end game i don't know what her end game is she says that she wants them together but it makes no sense right um i don't i don't think her words and her actions align they don't her walk does not match her talk um that's number one or maybe her talk and her walk do match up from a pick me thank you for saying that perspective because so look, you're speaking reason to someone who's not reasonable. Why would she care how Shirley feels about some pictures when she doesn't care how Shirley feels when she is telling him that she wants him to call her first thing in the morning? When early on, when they first, there's some of their first phone calls, I've listened to a lot of calls. I told you guys a couple of weeks ago, she said, no one has listened to all the calls. Well, I'm working my way through every day. I listen to a little bit from the beginning, right? And she told him at one time, and I think I played this call for you guys, but um, she told him at one time, I want you to call me first. That's some old, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm trying to capture, like, I want to be the first call. She wants to be the priority. Call. Yeah, she wants to be the right. priority. Coach. You that's, know, also. That's on some player, player. I'm going to take your man. I'm a trick. I'm a trick. Misses out her spot type thing. And that's what she's doing. So she's saying she's just a friend, 
but how are you going to demand that he calls you at 8.30 as soon as the phone comes on and 8 or 9 o'clock before the phones go off so that you can be first and last? And then he's also calling you throughout the day. We've heard her say, when are you going to call me back? Are you calling me right back? Or you can call me right back if you want to. He would get off the phone. He would call. That last time we went through some calls, we went through about four little snippets of calls that day. That woman talked to him. He was calling Shirley every time he got off the phone with Sonia. Okay. He talked uh -huh. to Sonia for 30 minutes. He's calling Shirley. Shirley's out and about, not picking up, rejected. Call, call Sonia again, talk to her for 30 minutes, talk to her for an hour, call Shirley again. He didn't talk to, he had made like five calls to Shirley one day. He didn't get Shirley until like 8.30 at night on some for five minutes. And then wow. call and so not saying that he she was always not available, but Shirley works. Shirley has a busy social life. Shirley has friends. She knows people. She's doing things. She's living with friends. She's hopefully enjoying a little bit of her life while this man is sitting there in the jail. She's doing her. She's doing her. Sonia obviously is home doing nothing, waiting on him to call and spending up her money to call him or to allow him to call her. Like she's, she's consuming her life with him. That's she why is. this, this outlet, like just us talking, cause we're following the case, but this is a great outlet for us who follow the case. Right. And for me who reports the news on it. Right. This right. woman has no one to really talk to other than her friends and family. And do you imagine how sick of this topic they must be? So now she's got all, now she's trying to be out here and do what we do. But nobody's really interested from her perspective because she's seen as a what do they call it a home wrecker, home right. wrecker, side chick, who are all of these all of these things that we have called her and attached names to her that she feels some type of way about. And oh well, none of us are responsible for her feelings. She shouldn't make anyone responsible for her feelings other than her. That's called being a grown woman. Okay. She shouldn't yeah. care how you feel or I feel. That shouldn't Absolutely. keep her up at night. Absolutely. But um, she's there's not someone thinking. named Lynette behind stage. Lynette, your devices are not connected, sis. So as soon as you get those connected, um, I'll get you up to the up to uh up to state your piece. Okay, sis. Um, but Lynette, your devices are not connected, hun. Okay, go ahead, live, laugh, love. I agree with everything you said. And another thing that she noted is now that um Dion, I guess Dre and Lamont are no longer talking with Nesto. And she said, because they're not helping, I guess, the way she feels that they should be helping. So she kind of like dismissed them. So that kind of goes along, I guess, also with what you're saying. If things aren't going her way, if she's not in control, if it's not moving the way she wants it to, then, um, it's like she wants control of everything. She wants to be the centerpiece, you know, and everything that's going on, you know, coach. <laughs> mm. She you better also watch out that. because you know what I think about when um, you were talking about that? I think of like Joe Jackson. I think of like, remember Latoya Jackson's crazy husband that she had who passed away? Mm -hmm. The guy with the toupee back in the day. Remember that when Latoya was like, she said that she was being controlled by that man um, that she was married to. And he was like, I don't know. It, it just makes me think of his, her being his momager. And yes. um, he better watch out. But he's he's not as much of a commodity as she thinks. Nesto, just because something gets a cult following on YouTube doesn't necessarily slam dunk big money. Uh. I don't care how many people are following. Right. It doesn't necessarily transfer over to like your neighbors or my neighbors. When just because we are into a certain topic doesn't mean that we're into the whole topic and doesn't mean that it's going to translate to people outside of the realm of the topic. So there's YouTube and there's the Steve Harvey community and there's, you know, black females. I don't really know. She's not going to be a slam dunk in the black female community at, or the wife community because she has been labeled as a homewrecker. 
Women right. are not going to exalt someone who has come in in the like a thief in the night and made a fool, helped make a fool out of a woman who has worked very, very hard to earn a really good salary and to have a decent reputation, even if she was fugazi a little bit, it's no one's going to really take kindly to that to help this woman. Look at Sharina Hudson. Look at all of the like. Look even at like Jerry Seinfeld's second wife, the one who you know he's really she's been with him for a long time now. But nobody really people feel a way about that first wife who yeah. maybe didn't do anything wrong. Not the first wife with Nesto, but let's just say Shirley in this situation. Yeah. Um, if she's really been done wrong, I don't think people like feel sorry, sorry for her, but I think people have empathy for her position as right. a hardworking woman who was looking for a nice guy to do the damn thing with into, into retirement. And that just didn't shell out for her because not only is he fugazi, but he's, had a bunch of people along the way who didn't really, who didn't help the matter at all. Um, what do you, what do you say about that? And then I'm going to let N Lynette up. What do you think about that? I totally agree. And something that Joey said too. Well, one other thing you think, I think one of the reasons that she moved to um, coach moved to Atlanta. Remember when he went to court and they asked him if he had somewhere to go at and, um, he gave the, the thumbs up. Do you think that's one of the reasons why um, she moved there? Because he didn't have a an address or anywhere to go. And, you know, they've been thinking he's going to get bonded, 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 or it's going to get out soon. I wonder if her address is where one of the places he's planning to go. Well, keeping so number one, they still have him listed as married. And they also still have him as being supported by his wife. And there's an affidavit that was filed six months ago where the wife gave him an address to bond out to. So I don't know what he knows. If Sonia told him he can go there and that's where he wants to go, like it says in the letter, he can come home to me or wherever he decides to go to. So whatever the address is, we don't know. I mean, I cannot even attest to what he's thinking about where he's going to go other than we know he has places he can go because she's all too happy to open the door. But Shirley right. also submitted an affidavit that she was too. That affidavit is not, has not been rescinded. So there's no taking back of the affidavit at this moment. There's nothing in there that states that this is no longer viable. That affidavit is still on record on all of his cases from Shirley. Wow. So, that's a question mark. Let me let Lynette up, but thank yep. you so much for calling in, boo-boo. I appreciate it. Have a good Friday night, okay, sis? Drop me down, friend. <laughs> okay, I will. Okay, take care. Lynette, Thessie, I got you on hold, boo-boo. I got you next up. Hey, Lynette, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Thank you for calling in. I'm good. Thanks for having me, and happy holidays to everybody yes, in the chat. You. you too. Thank um, you. I would like to start by saying that um, I tend to disagree with um, Joey as far as like um, our nasty's bill is a little too high. Um, I think the prosecutor, as uh, Ernesto calls them, um, has the obligation to the community to make sure that they decrease the amount of victims. And he's obviously showing progression in his crimes. It's just a matter of time before he finds out that someone says, OK, I'm going to go to the police and what next? He's going to kill them or do bodily harm. And then I feel like there's more victims out there because he's constantly on the phone with Sonia. Like, what's the update on my charges? Did anything new drop? What's going on now? Like, I feel like there's more to it, a lot more to it, because what person, you know, that's a, a criminal like him that gets caught for all of their crimes. There's a lot more out there. The that's fact number one. So and number I, two, yeah, go ahead, that's, that's a good that's a good point because to me I would be more like, are you kidding me? What? Yeah. I wouldn't be looking for more cases if uh -huh, I know that I'm innocent. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I would just be more and, like and shocked. He, he like, goes to sleep at night dreaming me? like, I wonder what they found out now. I wonder what's going on right. next. I wonder what's about to drop now. Because he's got a lot of he might uh -huh. have a lot of enemies. Uh -huh, he might have a lot uh -huh. of enemies. He's one of okay. those um guys that um, you know, does this um as a career and 
leaves a lot of uh, female victims and a lot of uh, fatherless homes, except for, you know, okay. now he's probably dating or not dating, whatever he want to call it, but doing this to women that's no longer in child rearing age. But, um, and we have to really try to um, get like the message out to Shirley because he's coming for her. He He's not finished with his, his marriage as he calls it. And to um, his knowledge, she doesn't know about those calls where, where um, you know, because um, he got Sonia ready to coach her too and say that she's just a friend. And, and you know, next thing we know, she'll she'll be their uh, their guidance counselor and be uh, Shirley's best friend, and she'll be in the middle of the no, marriage she sleeping won't. with her. She won't. We'll be. <laughs> and, um, we will. We will. We will get. We yeah. will flood those strawberry she letters. She definitely the, didn't the hear the those calls. Yeah. Will be flooded. She definitely didn't hear those calls yet where she was like, she going to save that thing for him. She needs to snatch that, snip that thing off and throw it away. But she going to snap, she going to save that thing for him. And she get in the shower and when she get horny, she promised not to share it with nobody oh else. It's just his. <laughs> so they definitely got plans Pat on it. moving forward. Right. Pat it. <laughs> she can't fool nobody. <laughs> and then not only is he a uh, danger in that way, but also his calls with um his son Dion, where he's talking about, um, you know, moving F, you know, fentanyl. And, um, you know, he's mad about, you know, his son offering him that, but he's, he's questioning him about, um, it, how, how's it out there? How's it moving on the street? What does it look like? Cause that's his next plans because, you know, he, he got to resort to something to have a couple of dollars in his pocket. Okay. So, okay. Wait, let me say one thing. Thessie mm -hmm. and Trish, you guys are next up. Okay. Um, so to your point, I saw something online last night. I don't know if you guys saw this, and I think Grown Woman Vibes talked about this, but I can't tell you when. But someone from someone sent this to me, and I was like, oh, okay, because people had talked about this, but I didn't know when it was. I guess once upon a time, there was a case that may have included um, where, ne where Nesto was cooperative to the state, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it was on some being cooperative during potentially a drug case. And they actually were saying that I don't I haven't seen it on grown woman vibes. But the rumor is that that case was actually a big case and it actually has something to do with the big Meech, um case. So the BMF. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, okay. um, you know, um, Shirley's half on the hook, half off. It's like she could easily be pulled back in because she has um, Dion's. Um, al she allowed Dion to get the car insurance and in, um, his vehicles in her car. Uh, I mean, under her insurance or whatever. And that's one of the things um, Ernesti was um, uh, preaching to Dion about, like, oh, why you let, um, you know, your mama drive the car with, you know, you know, he was talking in cold. But we know before Shirley was talking about putting the car insurance, let, allowing him to put the cars on the insurance. But Dion was like, I got this. Them my folks, them my peoples. It's OK. But they just using Shirley all around the board. Pretty much because she's got the credit mm -hmm. and she's mm -hmm. got, you know, I guess she's got the bandwidth to so, be able to do that. And if she but, was really done, she would have said no to all of that. Yeah. I mean, I, I think, you know, she really may be very, very hurt by this whole ordeal. Um, you know, I just hope she gets her head back together and she mm -hmm. understands yeah, what's going on and separates herself from what she thought to what is. I right. think that when you are dealing with someone who is not honest with you, when you can really be honest with yourself and know, mm -hmm. you know what, I really care about this guy, but I got to care about me more. And uh -huh, I think that uh -huh. this person is using me or I know this person is using me. Uh -huh. And if they really love me, they're not going to treat me like this. Uh -huh. And that's when you can find the strength to walk away because you can't deny your feelings, even when you're like low self-esteem. But mm -hmm. when you know that that person really is just using you, uh -huh. that's where you can really find the strength. And she's one of the... Um, like, main I'm type of victims this. that the prosecutor is trying to protect, um, you know, uh, the street, um, protect us from Ernesto because she's so vulnerable and she don't realize how vulnerable she is. Yeah, and I mean, he's been I doing this for years. She seems to be a sweet woman. Um, mm -hmm. and you know, I, I'm sure she's not a pushover, but I'm sure she feels like, gosh, how could I be so right? How could I have been so? You know, sometimes dumb. We know Shirley's not a dumb woman, but you know, right. how could I be so blind or whatever? 
And, you know, girl, it happens to the best of us. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, but That's Lynette, nice. you are so sweet. And mm-hmm. great, it was nice talking great with you. Great points. And, you know, mm-hmm. look, mm-hmm. Nesto's not going anywhere anytime soon. We don't have to worry about it. But at the end of the mm-hmm. day, it is quite possible he could end up getting a bond. Now, the bond that he has right now is very high. Mm-hmm. Is he going to get out with those bonds? We don't know. Um, I almost feel like he should wait to get mm-hmm. his cases up. Mm-hmm. And try to get bonds on everything so that right. he could try to get because right. the money that they could spend on a lawyer, it almost mm-hmm. doesn't matter if you get the bonds. Right, you could exactly. Spend money on the lawyers, but then you can't afford the bonds. And Maybe I feel like keep um, working with your public defenders, get your bonds, and see because right. it's gonna almost be one of those situations where you have to pay for one, but you're not gonna be able to pay for both. Exactly. And that and my last point is that um I, I feel like every call that they put out um is well. Um, they talk about it. It's rehearsed in advance, and it, it's their effort to try to get some money up to try to help his case. Rather, it's get a new attorney or something. But um, Ernesto is not um blind to what um Sonia's out here doing with those calls. I mean, they're so bland and boring, and and she thinks she's scamming us. She thinks like, oh, huh, I'm gonna put these calls out there and and these stupid calls saying nothing, talking about nothing, and get this money from them. Ha 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 ha. But we know what she's doing she's the money that she can get like right now. I just, I don't see like looking at the numbers and I know the well, numbers. She thought it was going to be more. Yeah. No, it's not. She's not going to get our yeah. numbers. She, she, she's she's one of those per- numbers. That, she's like, one of those people that has like a, get. a grand look about their self. So she thought she was going to be able to put out one car and produce millions and, and be able you to know. be his, his savior. And then he was going to get it out and, and come to her and, and they was going to run the world together and just be scheming everybody. Like that was Mm-mm. her outlook. No, I don't think that's going to happen. If that was going to happen, we would have seen that from the first couple of calls. Right. The the numbers are weak. And I don't know yeah. that people are listening to the whole, because it's, it's the views, but it's the watch time. If right. somebody watches a call for 30 seconds, right. um, it doesn't, it's not going to have as much impact as if they watch the whole 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And then that 20 minutes is multiplied by however many because just because someone clicked on the video, just imagine how many times you click on a video just to read comments or you listen exactly, to five yes. minutes. Or, or just to then, say something to her, to, like I've done, right. just to tell her, listen, we're not falling for this, you know? Right. So, or the reactor you like to follow just went live and they're talking about it and you'd rather talk about it rather than listen to it. So I, we're talking for two hours tonight and I haven't even played a call. So mm-hmm. that that's not something that she she's not capturing her audience like that uh-huh. and for her to be live uh-huh. for damn near four hours the other day. And it just has 4,000 views. That's not right. giving what you guys like. Yeah. I know some people she doesn't like, have oh, any captivating calls. qualities that's that that's, will that's keep not us... a lot for a four hour call. That's, Correct. that's not a lot for a four hour call. Like, uh-huh. cause people uh-huh. were in and out. People were in and out. How many uh-huh. times did you click in and out? You know what I mean? Like right. if you clicked in out three, four, five times, that's multiply right. that by other people. So that's even less, Right, time, exactly. And yes. that's not four thousand viewers. That's four thousand clicks. So it's it's there's more to the story on those numbers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. But Lynette, let me get Thessy and Trish. Okay. Thank you, you take so care. Happy calling. holidays to you, you and too, um, happy, happy holidays to the chat. Yes, and have a wonderful evening and a good you weekend. Too, thank you. Yes. Okay. Take care. Take care. Right, bye bye. Uh-huh, hey Thessy, Trish, I got you up next, sis. Hello, hey, Bessie, friend. How are you? I am great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for waiting. You're sounding much better. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm clearing up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a tough, it's been a tough couple of weeks, but you know what I'm saying? I like know. you guys really do help because this is so much, this is, this is fun. This is like a passion project for me. So I, yeah. I enjoy, you know, coming to talk to you guys and it definitely does help me feel better. So I appreciate that. Well, good. And I sent you a box also. Me? Um, yes, you, you sent actually, me happy mail. Oh my God. I put, actually, I put everybody's name, including Portia's name on it. Oh my God. I'm going to have to go check so, my mailbox. You guys sent me yeah. happy. Someone else told me that they sent me some happy mail too. And I'm like, you guys, am I going to go? One time I was watching, I don't know if you guys watch Peyton Charles. Peyton said she hadn't gone to her. She's a, a YouTube blogger. Um, uh-huh. She hadn't gone to her mailbox in a while. 
And she went to her mailbox and you know, those big bins that they have at the yeah. mailbox. She said, I hadn't been to my mailbox y'all and look what happened. And she so showed a whole bin of boxes. I was oh, like, Oh wow. my God. That's but if, I get, if I get two boxes, the two people who told me, Oh my God, that's just so sweet. And I appreciate y'all so much. So thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. Thank you. It's for the whole family. But uh, We will enjoy it. And I'm going to just say thank you in advance, but I definitely, when I get it, I will definitely make sure to make a big deal about it. Thank well, you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay. So, um, where do I, I let me just first say that I am not going to mention the name of the edgeless one. The homewrecker? Yeah. You said the edgeless one. Ooh, petty. Yeah. Well, she did she didn't put on her baby hair this week. But anyway, okay. she was probably okay. watching so the baby. The, the side chick homewrecker. Okay. Yes. Okay. But um when she, I feel like when she's saying about not talking to Dion and um, Lamont, again, just like Lynette said, I think that's just some more stuff that she's kind of playing us on because um Sylvia, I mean, yeah, Sylvia had bought out the the fact that um, about the app when I guess it was Dion he was talking to was saying that um, Dre had told him about how to use the app. And mm -hmm. then when you hear them, well, Sonya, she, oh, I was going to say her name. It's OK. Mm -hmm. Keep going. But she was saying, um, she said many times about, oh, I'll just have to text you this. I'll just have. So obviously they're texting over an app. And Dion was saying that Dre told him how to use it. So, you know, they're all just, they're keeping that little enterprise going. Um, and I don't know why she she's trying to plant the idea that, oh, no one's talking to me. Yeah, they are. But, and then even at, on that call that she had, even after he hung up, Later on, she said, oh, that's him texting. So so I, do you think she's just trying to control who Nesto talks to? No, I think at this point, it's it's all about just money and clicks. Um, because so you now, think she doesn't want she doesn't want them to talk to Nesto on the phone so she can control the narrative that comes to us is that what you're trying to say exactly. that she's telling them to text or she's trying yeah. to have them call on william's phone because we did catch that if it, it yeah um, edgeless uh side <laughs> side chick homewrecker sis <laughs> yeah we caught that you use william's phone and okay. girl it's okay like we already knew like, like we already so knew smart and clever man i'm just like well, oh my gosh and she's not because at the end of the day i could tell i'm definitely a data driven person i'm not a data analyst but i should have been because when i looked at the call logs and i did put it into like an excel format when i looked at the the frequency of the calls and when you see how much this man is calling out Mm -hmm. And then when you see people answering the phone, that's a difference. But the fact that this man is not getting any phone calls, it did not sit well with me. When mm -hmm. I saw that he had a like a month of not talking to anyone, mm -hmm. I thought that was very strange. I was like, there's no way he talks this much to all of a sudden not be talking to anyone. And there's no mm -hmm. phone calls that he's falling out with anybody. So right. I, already, I was like, he's he's got to be calling on someone else's pin. And you've been and saying that for a month and a half at it least. Just, it didn't make any sense. Uh -huh. Like when you just look at when you look at it, it didn't make any sense. Like you don't just go from being a social butterfly to being a hermit. There is no way. So I knew that he was calling on someone else's account. It just was a matter of time. And because she's so greedy and, uh -huh. you know, her her ways. She now, at least we know William and probably that guy, Eric, you know, they mentioned Eric before the one where she was calling his girlfriend, putting money on uh -huh. Eric's books, but yeah. I don't know if Eric is still there. And then, um, they've mentioned other people too. So there's, there's a list of leads to follow, to find the calls. So trust me, people right. are out there, people are out there. So. Um, but it is what it is. We're not going to tell too much of our, our right hand what our left hand's doing. But what else did you observe? Well, and the other thing, well, actually, one thing was about you. It was kind of something like what mm -hmm. you just said. Because um, mm -hmm. I know um, 
I feel like the way I view you is that you're in this category of people that you might not see all the gifts and talents you have because you've been with you all your life. Oh, but yes, thank you. Yeah, but <laughs> what comes in mind over and over is um, discernment. Yes. And mm-hmm. that's very important because not just in the life part of this, but also in the business part of it, you have discernment. You had the discernment to say, oh, my phone calls. That sounds interesting. Why don't you get these? You know, mm-hmm. and then even when she came out with the little Waller thing, you like you were the one that put a stamp on it. No, you did not put her out there first, but you put a stamp on it about, about who this person is. It's the sermon. You've been saying these things. So, you know, that's just a little something that on you that, you know, I see. I appreciate it. Um, I mean, I do try to go with my gut and I'm going to I'm going to say when I think something is right and say when I think something is wrong or guys, I think we're going up a dead a dead end or whatever like that. Um, But I do I do definitely trust my gut. Mm -hmm. And, but you guys are so smart too. A lot of you guys have very good leads and lots of good theories. Some of you email me, send me DMs on Instagram and things like that. You guys are super smart too. So no doubt, I think it's a collective, you know, because like they say, iron sharpens iron. So I think there's a lot of interesting minds out here who are all Mm -hmm. thinking and, and I've said it a million times, Mm -hmm. Sonia cannot compete with the brain power of the YouTube streets. The internet will always win because a lot of people who frequent out here, even as kooky as some people are, every there's a lot of smart people out here. And one person cannot outsmart the internet. So she needs to really take a big dose of that. I'm not telling her to get up off this internet. I'm just saying, stop trying to think you're smarter than everybody because that's when you come out looking like a fool. Well, I mean, she's just in a different um, category. Like you have um you do have some of the smartest um members okay because we were attracted to that with you with sylvia with um chronicles with pam because you all do the research and who in the world could research better than nyla i don't know but okay we you, that's why we are att- we were attracted to your sites as opposed to it's so many out there that's just regurgitating stuff or just acting silly or whatever and see silly angeles she's need to she's going to have to go over to the with those people because she wants she, just like she is yearning after shirley shirley's life shirley's husband she's doing the same thing for you guys she mm. wants you know she wants you, what you're doing, she wants a site like yours. She wants your people. She wants us to run over there to her, to listen to her. I said it like it was a remake of the darn Ren and, Ren and Stimpy show with her and Big Bird up on there today. Like, we don't want to hear that foolishness. We are not interested. And so, and then it's your, your intelligence, everything that make us want to come to you. And um, we're not going to go over there. She's going to have to just keep the ratchets. Those will be the people that will support her because we don't have a tolerance for her. But anyway. Yeah, she's she's definitely interesting. She's she's an acquired taste and she will find her tribe. But they're going to be a bunch of do nothings. And it's going to be really it's going to be it's going to be a mess. And but that's fine because we like train wrecks, too. We'll talk about you. Um. Yeah, you know, I, so. I had to figure out for myself, like, why? Because I lose all self control. You know, I thank God for the mods, honey. They had to put me in time out of time or two because uh-uh. I lose all control when it comes to her. And then I had to realize for myself was that she was triggering me for mm-hmm. all the Sonyas that have been in my life and interfered in my relationships. Yeah. And um, like when it the way it moves, the responsibility moves from the male to the side piece is when the side piece knows about you and then wants to, you know, banter back and forth. And mm-hmm. that some others that say, oh, my God, I didn't know you had a girlfriend. They, you know, they're oh, don't call me no more. But no, she's that kind that want to stay in there. You know what I'm saying? And the so fact that's what that he's let her. 
be a spokesperson uh -huh. and kind of take Shirley's place is really offensive to a lot of people because we don't really know the true legalities of what right. is going on with their marriage. But the fact that she's a, like a de facto spokesperson is yeah. quite offensive to a lot of people. So I'm sure there's even people who may have even wanted to support him to a certain degree, mm -hmm. but the fact that he has given her even a title of coach is, I think that's just, it's, he's stupid. He's dumb, he, but that's okay. That's him. That's, that's yeah. on him. And that's why I was saying when Joy was on early, earlier, it is just so hard to defend Nesto. Like I would never even attempt to because I feel like if he did not do what he's in jail for this time, his black A did something to somebody at some time that he got away with. And, you know, sometimes you might pay early. Sometimes you might pay late. But when you got to pay, you're going to pay. Yeah. And so, I Whatever they've got, they know why they've got him there. And he knows because my point was that he didn't start saying anything about being innocent until he found out we were listening to the phone calls. We've listened right. to this fool over a year and a half worth of calls and you've never heard him. He just sitting here laughing, acting silly. Like you said earlier, if that was you being locked up, crying, screaming, coughing, gagging every time I got on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he's been just chit-chatting and having a good time until he found out we were listening. So, oh. Well, Lamont's like, you rest and get your rest. Take your time. This is your time. Put your feet up, man. Like, it's okay. We out here. We waiting on you. Okay. Like, almost trying to like, you know, meanwhile, yeah. yeah, I would be in, and I'm truly innocent. Oh my God. I would be uh -huh. beside myself. Yeah. So no, he he gets no sympathy from me, none of them. And then with Shirley, I feel like she, it was kind of who's using who. Like, I felt like they had an arrangement. And I think that's why she enough not to send them darn papers in. Like, if she wants this man to be her little play play husband, I don't have a problem with it. Shirley makes plenty of money. She don't have to get out here and hustle like, you know, nurses, teachers, policemen, you know, she ain't got to get out here. She wake up, go run her mouth on the radio a couple hours every day and make, you know, big bank. And if she want to take that bank and buy her husband, I don't have a problem with that. But see, he broke the deal. He broke the kind of covenant with the angelus one. You gonna Absolutely. Go from, so, so that's why I, you know, I, and I feel again about with him being locked up, I think she feels safer because when she's in the in there saying to him, well, I'm not going to go down there. They just want me to say something. Now, who, what police do you know is going to keep asking you the same thing over and over? You know, mm -hmm. good. Well, she went down there and told him, please. Yes. Keep him locked up. Throw away the key. Don't send him back to me. You know what I'm I think she I mean that's it. very much a possibility and she's you know and if they feel like he's dangerous they're not going to tell us all that and that's right. valid that's absolutely valid. Um Desi, what else do you want us to know cuz I got four more people holding. Okay. What, else, well, that, the, what else do you want us to know? Well the only other thing about Nesto I was wanted to make note of his temper. We've heard mm. him go off a couple times. And again, you don't know what was going on inside their home. She, she Shirley's like a, a um, hostage or something. He's got these <laughs> people out here keeping, up, keeping tabs on her. And then um, the other part was when he made the comment to her about her bank account, like close to some of the last calls that, that they had. He was telling her that, you, you know, you need to make sure that you, you got your money in the bank. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? She's like, yeah, yeah. So, um, honey, you just don't know. But anyway, that's that's all. Thank you, friend. You take care. Have a great Christmas, everyone. You too. You too. And thank you so much. OK, you're right, you welcome take care now. OK, OK. Bye bye. Bye bye. OK, so I got Trish coming up next and then I got I am here. Um, I'm here for the, I think that that was sis who came up before, but wasn't connected. Then I've got Shelly and then I've got Lovejoy. So you guys just hold tight. Let me get Trish. Hey, Trish. How are you? Or Tish, excuse me, Tish. Hi. Hi, Tish. How are you? Um, let me you read the me? super chat real quick. Um, okay, he's okay. allowed her to spread his business even after the lawyers say don't be online. She's online talking about witnesses and hurting the case all over. 
Vicky, you're not, look, I'm going to star that. Um, I'm going to circle back to that in a minute, but let me just think on that for a minute. But yes, yeah, she absolutely is. What do you think about that, Tish? That um, the lawyer has told Nesto to not be online, not be on calls or live stream, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. But she persists on making him say hi to people on, his, on her live, like kind of bending the rules. Like, what, what the hell? Is that a real friend? No, I think she is his downfall. Period. Okay. Yeah, okay. absolutely. And, <laughs> she, that's, I do. That's I, be I, his I, downfall. I, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I think, yes. It's something I've been having on my mind and I wanted to share with you. Yes, you know, please. the call when it's so weird, I'm going back. When she told him they was on being found out, and that everybody knew that they were talking. I felt like if Nesto would have been more claiming her, she wouldn't be out here trying to defend that she wasn't the mistress or she wasn't a side chick. He off the top was like, I don't hear nothing about a mistress. I don't hear nothing about a side chick. He just, he just denied it. And I think if he was more claiming her or more down with her, he, she would have went with it. But soon, as soon as he was like, I don't hear nothing about a mistress, she started immediately start trying to shut it down. Hmm. So do you think that was for more of a trying to validate herself as more meaningful part of his life? Well, that's when she also got a title as coach. Um, cause all of a sudden it's coach this coach that, um, yeah. Cause that's weird. I, Why would he all of a sudden I, be calling her coach, but then he was mm -hmm. downplaying yeah, there's no mistress. So was it from a standpoint of like he's all of a sudden downplaying it because he doesn't want to cop to it? Or he didn't want that to get out. He didn't want that to get out. It was all good just behind closed doors on the phone, lolly mm -hmm. because that whole thing done flip. Ever since he said that, I don't hear no mistress. I don't hear nothing about no mistress. And that's when she flipped. When he didn't when he didn't go along with that, she flipped. Because at first, she was all with him, willy-nilly. As soon as he didn't hear no mistress, she went with it immediately. Just go back to the calls and listen. Because before no, you, I, was I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Because, see, right. let me also say this. Right. She's been in the bushes since July. She's been in the I, bushes I since before calls. Because she, right. I have screenshots, whether she goes and wants to delete stuff or not, I have the screenshots. Right. My phone told me that she has left me nine comments. And oh. I went back and I found comments back from June 30th and even maybe a little before that on some of my very first videos that never even had calls. And it was mm -hmm. one of those hearings that made me get with the phone calls from prison and ask them, could they even get calls? How do I, how do we get that? And they were like, we'll look into it and we'll let you know. That was she the was majestic calls. So if she was so damn smart, why didn't she know about phone calls from prison and get the damn calls herself or get on Cobb County and figure it out? Okay. What? So she was in the bushes already. So also on top of that, she would have to admit to Nesto that she has really known about the calls since the beginning. She tried to make mm -hmm. it seem like she only knew about the calls since the strawberry letter when Shirley and them had that whole thing. The let the calls had been out for over a month. When That's when right. she did her strawberry letter, they had, mm -hmm. phone calls from prison dropped their first video like the first week in August. The strawberry letter didn't come out until September 11th. It had already been mm -hmm. four to five weeks. Sis was in the bushes. Sis was manipulating mm -hmm. comments. Sis was well mm -hmm. aware of everything that was going on. And she lied to Nesto and told him she had right. only just heard about it. But ma'am had been in the bushes, in my bushes, before a call had ever even came out when I was showing Majeski's and, um, and, uh, and ADA Taylor over mm -hmm. in Judge Manning's court. And we were sitting mm -hmm. talking about it. I would have like maybe 30, 50 people, maybe a hundred, but we had a small little mm -hmm. group. We would be talking about the case and mm -hmm. my earlier videos. We've been talking mm -hmm. about this for a minute. Um, right. Sylvia had been talking about it for a minute. Pam had right. talked about it for a minute. We were all talking about it. We were following the case. 
And I, so, that, Sonia, in the bushes, Sonia been here. This is, that's his downfall. Because what, what, why is this so important for her to do that? Why is she doing him like this? Because she's an attention whore. Yes, uh -huh. she's no, one of these people who wants to be recognized. A whore, the whore. <laughs> <laughs> she wants. She, right she, <laughs> she has a lust. Whore, whore. She she has a lust for wanting to get attention from the people. That's she sad. she wants us to know her. And sis, you don't really want us to know you like that, especially on YouTube, because you've seen what's already happened once. It it could get like YouTube is a funny situation. And for her to antagonize people on these YouTube streets is not a good thing. I would leave it alone. If I if that's I like to stay in my own little lane right here in YouTube because I've seen what can happen. She needs to leave mm -hmm. a lot of these people alone. That's what she and yep, stop trolling. Yep. Mm -hmm. You well justified. See now, mm -hmm. I feel like her little you know with Carl Thomas' baby mama. She made a fool of herself. I thought that was so silly. Okay, and Carl Thomas' uh, baby mama low key is out here real bad on her channel. She got videos and she got a whole thing with Carl Thomas and the Tasha K video, and she's over there on Kendra G. Sis is trying to be noticed also. Um. We might talk about that tomorrow because it is a little entertaining, okay. her Kendra G appearance. But I'm telling you, this is someone who she wants to be recognized. She wants to be known. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. I'm so happy to talk to you. I watch her show every day. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank me. you. Yes, I'm like, I'm, I live in Texas and I be like on it. When I see it, I'm like, I got to <laughs> talk to Fran. I got to get on there. I got to introduce myself. Cause I'll be on. Okay, I think Tish. Yes. So yes. It's, I'm it's, it's a mess. This is when side chicken goes wrong. Cause you know what? Once upon a time, especially mm -hmm. in Sonya's age group, you know, if you're 50 and over, or even in your 40s, most side chicks know their place mm -hmm. and you try to at it. least be a little bit humble. She mm -hmm. is you would not do that. An mm -mm. out and out uh an out of control side chick, sis. If I were you, I would sit down because you, she's lucky that Shirley doesn't have like some ghetto daughters or nieces who want you know like ma'am, you need to have a seat. Butt. They yeah, she they she really should have a butt. seat. <laughs> I, I don't think that it went the way she wanted it to. I think it mm -mm. went the wrong way. Mm -mm. <laughs> It just, it just, because I think if he would have off the top, well, yeah, we together, what is it to them? He never said that. No. So he's really not and claiming I, you. He's just using no. you. That's what he's doing. Because he, he is going to get back to Shirley. He said, once I touch down and get in her face. And you know when, when a man say that, what he's talking about. He wants right. to go get Shirley his haircut, get a nice, get uh -huh. his nice, get himself back and, together. Uh, he knows exactly what to do. That's why he told Dion to bring her some Dunkin' Donuts. He said, bring her some Dunkin' Donuts. Forget the flowers. Bring her them donuts. That's what she likes. Well, he said, I'm not going to be talking to Shirley like that. Talking about something. And he said, I'm not going to talk to her like that. And I thought, I felt that. I said, that man know that woman is more respectful than that. But he can say, I don't insult her. Sonya. I mean, come on now. He knew it. Glennis, thank you. Glennis, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that, sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tish, you gonna so Thursdays is gonna be our call in day. So Tish, okay. anything else you want to leave us with? We still got two more people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I move. I move back down. I just want okay. to say hi, friend. I'm watching, and I'm I'm gonna keep watching. Keep watching, and Thursdays is our call in day because I know you guys really enjoy it, and I love talking to you guys too because, um. It gives me a break, so I don't have to do all the talking. But also, I like to hear you guys' perspective. Um, and we're going to start to definitely get more into... I'm pulling all the records. I'm red penning through everything so I can show it to you guys and share so we can learn exactly what's going on. That way, if Nesto does get his pinky toe back out on these streets, everybody is well informed. And then I you know, think that inspiration to women because you're a mom, you're a wife, and you're working, and you're just not just, oh, woe is me. You don't been no. sheep, your dog don't pass away, you know. 
sorry to hear that. And you just kept right on going, kept right on pushing. And that's the type of woman I am. And it's just an inspiration. So some people don't have oh, it. Thank you, know, they, you. Thank you. Yes, yes, ma'am. And I love it. I'm here for it. Keep doing what I you're doing. That. That's you all I really know how to do because I can't, I'm not, I, trust me, I get my rest, but I'm not a sit too still type person. Oh, I oh. enjoy working. I do. I do enjoy working. So I appreciate that. And I love my family so much. And I love you guys. This is, this is fun for me, um, but it also is definitely a creative outlet. So I really appreciate you saying that. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm going to drop down and I'll be back on Thursday. Yeah, call me next week, girl. Okay, bye, friend. Okay, all right, take care. Okay, all right, bye-bye. Okay, hey, sis, how are you? Love, hey. Joy, I got you next, sis. Love, Joy, you're going to be up last, so just hold on, okay? Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. Sorry about earlier. I don't know what oh, was you're going fine. on with my mic. No, yeah, you're I fine. Just, it's right on time. I just wanted to kind of piggyback on what I think the guy's name was Joey. Yes. What he was saying, I agree mm -hmm. with a lot of the things he was saying. I think that what happened um, was that Sonia had set up Nesto. I don't know if it was necessarily Nesto or anyone she would consider a big fish for the long con. Um, mm -hmm. I think that anything that she does, even though she tries to pretend, is by chance. She didn't meet him by chance. She knew exactly what she was doing when she met him at that building. She thought she had found a mark. Mm, mm -hmm. A certain extent she did. But what happened was her mark got in trouble. So I feel like she's being the supportive friend, air quotes, because it benefits her. She does not do anything that does not benefit her. So I think she's looking to be paid back when he gets out of this mess, which she believes that he will. Um, I don't even think that, like, if you notice, she has all these things that happen by coincidence. Um, her meeting him, um, her wanting to also have a business, her also loving RVs. It's like everything just falls into place for her, even the meeting of his former cellmate who meets somebody's former cellmate and then I, I think she sought him out I think she, she sought him out. yeah she must have sought him out I mean there was a write-up so that was legit um but just so right that you know kind of that principle of there are no coincidences yeah because that energy she has a very lustful energy and that lustful energy also goes a long way that she mm -hmm. and some people do seem to be lucky in terms of being in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. But she definitely has that kind of wanderlust that mm -hmm. can possibly get her in trouble where some people maybe it leads them to someplace successful. She doesn't seem to have gotten anywhere. Um, for someone who starts exactly. so much, nothing ever mm -hmm. seems to get finished. That's why also to me like this endeavor of YouTube I'm not really convinced she's going to do anything mm -hmm. with it because yeah. there's a lot of lazy people who think social right. media is just like I'm mm -hmm. just going to get up and talk no there's so much more to it like it's right. it's you can't just you can go but for so long off the seat of your pants like some things yeah. can just be lucky but at a certain point you have to work so I do yeah. agree with you. These coincidences don't seem coincidental. So absolute great point. She even um, I had to listen to the to the live because I just mm -hmm. wanted to see how it was going to go. It was very comical to me. She even said that she met Carl Thomas, baby mama, because I don't know her name or care to know her name. Mm -hmm. She happened to meet her at a venue or at an event. Now, how is that going to happen? How did that happen? And you and were both, both on you Tasha K recently. Have been on Tasha K. Like that doesn't even make any sense. That's a lie. She set that woman up for the con. And then she brings the woman on there as her sidekick and is steady shading her with the comments and speaking over her. It was it was just a, a never really properly introduced her. Mm -hmm. And I can't even say I think the lady did give her social media. 
And someone she bubbled tried. it up to my attention today. And that's, mm -hmm. and you know what? To you guys' point about Sonia, I'm I'm not going to talk about it just because this mm -hmm. woman, I'm not going to give it any more shine because this woman does have social media. This woman is yeah. on TikTok, all these things. And yeah. she is Carl Thomas's baby mom, but mm -hmm. it really happened from a one night stand situation. Mm -hmm. And I found it quite entertaining, but I'm not going to entertain it at this point just because I think you just never know what can give a, whipple, a ripple or a wave. And I'm not trying to give out any more waves. So, you know, we yeah. know Sonia, she, this woman's not really germane to our story. So we're going to mm -hmm. just skip over that. Um, mm -hmm. She just happened to be kind of collateral damage exactly she just used her as a prop she just used her as a prop for mm -hmm. the show and yeah. then once she was getting on her nerves she was doing the most she was loud and ghetto so then she started shading her and putting up the comments that were talking about her and even when the lady said that her ride was there she didn't walk her to the door or anything and they were like you Rude. just let your company leave you and walk her to the door she said she gone she know where the door is I was like, wow. Rude. A, a, a grown woman who doesn't say, hey, guys, hold on one second. Let me walk my friend to the door. Like, yeah. just ghetto. Just you ghetto. She doesn't her understand where she friend. is. You don't even know that lady. You let that lady in your house. You have to tell us that you're paying three thousand dollars a month for your rent. Just is 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 just ridiculous. But I don't know what it is for Nesto because Nesto seems like super slow to me. Maybe I'm missing it. I just don't see how he's able to con all these people. Um, and some of them are sophisticated people. I don't get it. I don't get the it. The real all. estate lady is quite a beautiful woman and seems to be accomplished. And I'm shocked that he was even able, you know, I mean, we've seen him with Shirley and it's kind of like, yeah. okay, I think people are like, well, maybe he, she was, it was, she was desperate because she was a certain age. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't think so, but okay. Um, this other lady, she's an attractive lady. Um, and you know, I was just kind of like, wow, for him yeah. to be able to separate her from her money. That's a good chunk of money. And it was cash. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know. Sonia, I just think that Sonia just was in it for the con, for whatever it was she could get. Mm. I think she was happy being a part-time side piece. I don't think she ever had any intention or desire to be his main chick or anything like that because she knew that the woman he was with helped support his lifestyle, which helped support her. So I don't, I think she was very happy with playing her position, but since the role is up and it's causing all this drama and attention, I think that she's just basking in it. I don't think that was her intention though, but it just happened that way. So do you think she's trying to get out of it now or, cause I mean, she is trying to dial back the association some, but she's yeah. still, in here saying she's that's her buddy and she's not mm -hmm. going to leave him dry. And do you think that she thinks Nesto is more valuable than what he really is? Because he doesn't have money. He doesn't mm -hmm. have resources. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know that he has a network outside of her. I don't know that he's going to be anything but a problem or a, you know, a liability when he gets out, if mm -hmm. he ever gets out. So what, what is it's like, ma'am? What are you doing? I don't know. I, I think she buys into the the thousand lives of Nesto. He's had a thousand lives. He's had a thousand businesses. As his friends say, he's won it all and had it all and lost it all and keeps getting it back again and again. But at some point, that ride is going to come to the end. Um, I think she's just waiting to see if she can, in some kind of way, profit from it. Mm. Um, I don't think that she loves him like that. She even says she doesn't love him like that. I think that even when she did tell him that she was falling for him, I think that was a crocker. S-H-I-T. She was mm. lying. I, I just don't see. Mm -mm. Nope. I just think that Sonia is who Sonia is. She is here to get what she can get as, as long as her good looks um, or those who find her good looking 
um, can afford her that. Mm. Um, but being with Nesto like that, no, I, no. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the fact that she says she's dating, and maybe she is, but there's no mm-hmm. one who could be taking her seriously um, in a mature baller type category or right. just a distinguished gentleman of her mm-hmm. age group mm-hmm. involved in what mm-hmm. she's involved in because her Google her Google search mm-hmm. is not going to yield anything good. I mean, just yeah. from even yeah. before she got to YouTube, her 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 resume is trash. And especially yeah. now her social media presence, not mm-hmm. good because yeah. now she's got videos all up and down YouTube with all of this dialogue about her. So there's no one that she could be dating of any substance that has anything other than just some young guy that she might want to twirl around with here and there, but that's, yeah, girl, yeah. that's her business. Yeah. Sounds um, like she likes some immature st- and stupid. So that, yeah, I can see that happening. So um, what do you want to, I've got uh, Love Jay coming up next. What do you want to leave us with, sis? Is there anything else you want to say no. before you go? Um, I just say that this is this has been one of the most interesting sagas, um, triangles, what have you, I've seen in a long time. And I just want, I can't wait to see how it's all going to play out, Where what's going to happen to Nesto. Hopefully, um Shirley can hold her, her position or um, get enough money where she can go ahead and retire, like so she can just enjoy her life and Sonya just go on to the next bum. I don't know. Mm. Great points. Okay. Well, we will talk about it more a little bit tomorrow, but thank you for bringing that up, sis. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Okay. Right. Take care. Have a great right. weekend. Okay. You too. Okay, so real quick, um, that girl uh, repping BK says, did y'all know that some of the convictions Sonya had in the past are some of the same charges Nesto has now? No, I mean, so yes, someone did send me her background check and I did see that there was more than what she copped to initially. And um, I'm going to definitely say birds of a feather flock together. Um, Also, um, we have... Uh, let me see. Also, we have um, Vicky who said, um, I think they're publicly shaming Shirley to help. I'm not sure what that means, Vicky. Um, Lovejoy, what do you say? Hi, friend. Hey, Hi, Lovejoy, everybody. how are you? So, you know, I'm going to come with my theory because I am a mm-hmm. theorist and I analyze things to no end. And Knowing Shirley's circle and the whole history of it all, I honestly, this is my theory, but you think about the people in her circle that's coddling her, protecting her, they have pull to keep someone like Nesto in prison. And I say that because that's in protection of Shirley. They already well, it know. protects Steve Harvey, too. That's where I'm headed, friend. That's mm-hmm. exactly where I'm headed. And so they know Shirley doesn't always make the right decision. And not only that, she hides it, right? I don't think the powers that be, Steve Harvey, wants this to ever happen again. So I do believe Shirley would be, you know, weak enough to fall back in Nesto's, you know, um, control. And so honestly, because it's just too weird how the court cases are going, there's no indictment. Like I've been listening to it for weeks and months and everybody's like, well, what's going on? Why won't they give him a lower bail? Or it's not fair, he deserves this and that. But who's to say there isn't puppets? at the top that's puppeting this whole thing and it's not even puppets it's just hey you know hey um you you walk into the palm restaurant and it's like oh hey fanny do you mind let me talk let me holler at you real quick at the bar yeah yeah um do you mind slow walking <laughs> can you slow walk something or hey so and so who yep. reports up to fanny you mind um mm-hmm. slow dragging that a little bit something something yeah. or you know, we have an interest in, and this person works for me and she's quite scared 
and um or whatever however it happens people meet up at the palm people meet at stk people meet at private restaurants and cocktail parties all around atlanta and yeah. Shirley is in rooms, though. People underestimate that Shirley gets invited places. Shirley is all up and down her Instagram in gowns. Shirley goes places, and Shirley is also very influential in right. her industry. She That's is a right. long-time broadcaster. She's not just some some somebody, some nobody somebody. That's She's right. someone who's been in the in the broadcasting industry for decades. And even though she hasn't, she hasn't been like treated like Robin Quivers and we've had that conversation too but she has you know she has notoriety and she is very well known and people I'm sure don't like what's going on with her and That's people right. might be sticking their noses out and people might also be calling in favors it is possible that this is the Steve Harvey machine at work keeping him up under that jail it's true I I I hear what you're saying, not saying. I hear you, Lovejoy. Yep, you follow me. Yeah, that's absolutely. what I really think, and mm -hmm. <clears throat> and how that's gonna play out. I honestly believe probably by the time he gets out, whether the victims, you know, push the charges or not. Oh gosh, cats! I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, you're fine. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> We're animal um, lovers. It's okay. Okay, good. <laughs> So if it's to the point that where Shirley has no choice, she cannot go back to Ernesto at all. I think that is one of the goals in her circle. Mm -hmm. They don't trust her. You know, she makes the wrong decisions. And one of the reasons why I know this may be in play, because these people have people they hire to do nothing but scan their Internet. Right. The Internet, mm -hmm. YouTube, they know mm -hmm. all about Sonia. They've heard all of this stuff. It's gotten way worse than they could have ever imagined when the phone calls first came out and then September 11th, Cheryl did the strawberry letter with Steve. But just think about then versus now, the whole Sonya saga. This is an embarrassment beyond no other. And Tasha K was a big mistake for her to do. Like that yes. hurt him. And that yes. probably was quietly talked about over at Steve Harvey show. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Because I mean, again, at the beginning of the year, Shirley was over there touring at the White House having an audience with Kamala yep. Harris. Yep, took her that, grandkids. She has very open access to a lot of influential people. Yes. And yes. they don't need the likes of Nesto around. That's right. Like he's bad for business. Yeah. The Steve Harvey show is supposed to be black excellence it's not black perfect but it's black excellence and at the end of the day it might not be black excellence to everyone but it is it is a form of it and at the end of the day having nesto nestoing over there in cobb county and fulton county is an embarrassment yes they're they're very it. much embarrassed by not only his grifting the the allegations and now this whole thing with the side chick want to want to be cute on Tasha K and running around here for interviews and for what it's not even like she's pleading Nesto's case she's over here trying to be famous and people are trying to talk yes. her into selling ponytails it's like what yes you hit the nail on the head friend because I know because Steve Harvey they did the whole radio engagement right Steve was vetting him out on the phone. Steve walked her down the aisle. So for this man to turn out to be the man he is, Steve is going to take that as a, you know, insult to him, right? Mm -hmm. Cuz you know, you know how he is. He doesn't want to look bad. So I'm actually not surprised that Nesto is not being, you know, not given a fair um what we all think is fair. I think there's more behind that, and I think this is being done on purpose. That's just my mm -hmm. theory. Mm -hmm. Um, and when it comes to Sonia, you know, Nesto fell in that trap and he fell with Sonia and he done went down a whole nother path. So what Sonia is doing is trying to make money off of this. And quite honestly, when people say, well, Nesto doesn't have anything, what could Sonia be waiting for? She's so delusional and narcissistic that 
I wouldn't be surprised if she has it in her head that they would do a documentary. And that's coins to her. Mm -hmm. I, well, think I think she's she holding thinks, on to something yeah. like that. She, the movie guy, the guy mm -hmm. from the prison, right. um, it, it was reminding me, like, because they talk about movies so much, I thought that was interesting. This movie mm -hmm. has crossed me between Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. I've mentioned that, like, so many times. It's a movie where there's two guys that meet up in Monte Carlo, and they're there to, both of the guys are there to grift a lady who's supposed to be quite well off. And it turns out that the woman that they're both there to target, to mark, she's also a grifter herself. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's a funny movie, but it's very interesting. Also, it's a little bit of Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And it also gives me a little bit of hustle and flow because yeah. the way that DJ manipulated all of the women, but also uh, the combination of Sonia being a combination of Taraji P. Henson and also a co the way he kind of does try to motivate her a little bit, but also the fact of the, um, I forgot what the other woman's name was, but the one who's like, I'm in charge, I'm in mm -hmm. charge. And when yep. DJ goes to jail and she takes his record and goes and shops it to all of the radio stations to the point where he gets on the radio and she's basically setting him up to come out of jail with basically like a hit record. That's what it's giving. And I think she thinks that she has a valuable commodity, but what he, what they also have to understand is that Steve is a powerful person in Hollywood yes. and yes. nobody is going to back any projects that's going to make his girl Shirley look bad. Exactly. He has a lot of, Shirley has been there for this man a lot. And at the end of the day, nobody is going to get any money for a project that's going to make his show and Shirley look stupid. Exactly. And it's not even going to make it to Tubi. It's dead in the water. Yeah. So, so I think she thinks she's got a commodity with him. Yeah. yeah you're absolutely yep. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's so delusional. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I will say when you guys were talking about um, the movie guy, right, her coming across that guy and how she studied, right, because she has it in her mind. She wants this movie. I do think it's a coincidence that he knew Ernesto. I think she sought after that guy. And once she was talking to him and talking about, I think it came across somewhere in a conversation that, oh, Nesto, oh, I know him. Because she snuck and called and put the guy on the phone. I don't think she knew that this guy was an old Sally of Nesto's. I do think that was a coincidence. And she tried to run with it. But she was mm. already trying to scout out, right, yeah, Getting she's scouting opportunity. She was scouting out, but it just so mm -hmm. happened that this guy knew Nesto because you know she talked so much. I'm sure she told him all about Ernesto, and you know, and he's like, "Oh, I used to be in, you know, the pen with him. You know how guys do." So mm -hmm. I do think that was a coincidence, but she's still delusional and dreaming because, like you said, if that guy tried to do anything with them. That would be shot down. It wouldn't go nowhere. Absolutely. Loretta, I got you up next, sis. We got okay. our last call after this one. Lovejoy, what else did you want to leave us with? I do like, I like your theory. I feel like we've talked about that a little bit, but I think people felt like Shirley wasn't that important. And Steve, and Steve's not going to put anything on the line. I think that Steve is going to protect what he needs to protect. That's right. And I think that low key, no one's ever going to come out front and ask and admit to or say that they talked at a cocktail party and asked anybody to slow drag anything. But what That's Nesto right. has to realize is that he's dealing with some very influential people who have some influential abilities, and he may be even more out of his league than what he thought. And he right. may have actually messed with some of the wrong people because we don't even know who that real estate woman was um, exactly. because he's messed with a teacher. He's messed with someone's grandmother. He's messed with a real estate agent. He messed with a, um, a military person. Um, he's, he has a list of people who are not happy with him. 
and there there might be lots of people feeling away and are not in a big rush to give him what he wants and they yeah. might just be like you know what he can wait and yeah. he can wait and he can wait so now yeah. that he's on the public defender list you know it's kind of like okay um and your lawyer has 40 cases so <laughs> yeah <laughs> You know what I mean? So, love yep. joy. Thank you so much. Um, we're gonna we're gonna try and make sure that we get every Thursday in for us to wrap up and talk about like hot topics, current events, whatever is going on, whatever you got is on you guys' mind. Right now, I know it's Nesto, but yeah, um, I think you are on to something, and I think those are very valid points because um, there's a lot of money. You know how they say there's a lot of money on mm -hmm. that elevator. Yes. There's a lot of money on those Zoom calls in the morning. Yeah, and, and reputations. That is the number three um, iHeartRadio franchise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they're not playing about Steve over there. So yep. that yep. means they're not playing about Shirley. Can I finish it off with this? Yes. So this is mm -hmm. the one last thing um, that bugs me so much. So you know how you watch the um, reality crime shows and all that. Mm -hmm. I've always been an avid watcher too. And it kind of bugs me when they do say, well, why did the victim give them all this money? Or why did she do this and that? I mean, I've mm -hmm. watched several shows that were real shows where these women, they do get caught up. And with his temper and uh, it's a lot of stuff we don't know about Nesto. We don't know how he convinced these women to do what he wanted to do. Because right. if they're running to report him now, nine times out of ten, he was forceful with them. And I've watched these women. They've given their life savings. They've been con. These are professional con men. And we may think, oh, if they ask me twice, I won't give it. We don't know all the tactics that these con people use to get over. He could have these pictures victims. and video and yes. movies. He could have all. He could be blackmailing. So yes, that's yes. another. So that's I'm not the, saying that. I'm alleging, and it's possible. It's a. It's just an opinion. It's a theory. Okay, Sonia. Like yes. nobody's saying we're just theorizing, and a, yes. it could be. So, yes. girl, we can. We it get just, to have thoughts and opinions. Yeah, it just bugs me when people are like, well, that victim was silly. Why would she do this and that? People just don't know the professionalism well, and con people, you know. Yeah, and I think uh, sometimes people don't, you know, I think, um, but, you know, I look, no matter how silly someone might have been to do something silly or, or not smart, um, some, of course there's always embarrassment that comes along with mm -hmm, it. So mm -hmm. some people are just a fool for love. Some people could have been coerced. Yep. There's so many different Feared. reasons. So I hear what you're yep. saying. Yeah. Um, I think sometimes we give the credit that we know people are more that they're brighter than to do that. But yeah. also let's, let's also add in the X factor of coercion and right. um, blackmail and things like that, right. that there's other exactly. reasons why people will do something that maybe they wouldn't have normally done because exactly. they don't want people. Maybe they should be, maybe people are married and they're having affairs. Who knows? You know what I mean? Right. So there's, right. there's other people, people out here doing wrong. So, and some people are doing wronger, okay, or yeah, more wrong. Yeah, so yeah. I get it. Yes, absolutely. So great so points thank there. Thank you, you for bringing that friend. awareness. Okay, you're no welcome. I'll drop you're welcome. You Have a good weekend. Love you guys you too. too. Thank you. Okay, take Bye. care. Okay, Loretta. Yes, hey, Loretta. Hey. Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? Happy Friday. Same to you. I'm so glad it's Friday. Thank God. Yeah. Oh my. It's like Lord Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I haven't listened to the whole live, so I hope I'm not repeating anything. No, but, it's okay. Um, Go ahead. Okay. So we're I want to at the end, so it's the, it'll be a good wrap up. So okay. no matter what, it's no problem. Go ahead. Gotcha. All right. I'm going to start off with Shirley. Okay. Um. Shirley, I believe that um, she's all about image first, you know, mm -hmm. and the fact that if you remember one of the calls when he told her, oh, you, you saw me on the news or whatever. And she thought that it was just an online article mentioning his name. But mm -hmm. later he mentioned, yeah, my pictures plastered all over the news. And she was like, what? No, I thought it was just 
it was that was the first time that you heard any inflection in her voice we went by months of her just being cool and i'm like why is she so cool and i it dawned on me it's like okay for one his real name is ernest williams so when people were asking her okay is your husband in, in jail or no no you know all about image I, a couple of she did a couple of interviews where there were rumors and people were asking her is your husband is there any truth to your husband and she's like no no absolutely no no and she was sitting sis was up there lying, lying. she because lied she knew that if they try to look up ernesto williams they wouldn't find anything because he doesn't exist his name is Ernest Williams. And that's why she thought that she could just float along, right? I'm going to get him out of jail. I'm going to pay for the lawyer, pay for it to go away. I'm going to pay the lawyer. He's going to get out on bond. And I'm going to say, see, he's not in jail. <laughs> he's not meanwhile, in jail. Meanwhile, meanwhile. Uh, in January, we may as well just say, and two years later. <laughs> two years if he's later. Not, if he's not out by the end of January, he won't be out till the summer. I promise you. I don't know why I think I know that, but I don't. If they can't clear some things for him when he goes to Janu in to court in January, um, it, it's going to be the summertime before he gets out because there's so much going on in Fulton County. Mm -hmm. He's not getting seen, but, at, but once every 60 days, mm. unless they're adding on charges. And he has to be arraigned for something, but that just that's just going to prolong everything. So as long as he stays steady with what he has, it's possible he might get his bails, um, and maybe and I don't know if he's going to get these indictments or what. But it's it's a drag fest. He's gonna he might be in there two years. Mm. Well, here's my thing with that: mm -hmm. if he is, everybody's not lying. Okay. No, no. Say that. everybody's not lying and he's not a political prisoner <laughs> Sonia seems to believe this they want to railroad Ernesto Williams why what ha what has he done what has well, he done someone Roswell wants to well doesn't care about him that much but <laughs> but Steve Harvey cares about himself and not being on the papers and surely more mm -hmm. so it's quite possible this is they might be thinking Roswell and they're corrupt. Um, maybe it's just like the last caller was saying, like you you've messed into the wrong circle mm -hmm. and your ass is, is staying where it's at. Yeah. Like you've messed up into the wrong circle, sir. Mm. And, and he is um very very sophisticated as far as grifting he has no sophistication in the other arena but as far as swindling women we got to give it to him this man can barely speak <laughs> he can barely speak. but he's a fool in that bedroom i guess Listen, i don't know because these women are giving up checkbooks <laughs> he's laying it low and spreading it wide Okay, and they are loving it. And can you imagine that he had Ebony Steel, Shirley Steel? Who else? We don't know. I, if I was anybody, I was I would be quiet. I wouldn't come out as a victim. <laughs> I wouldn't say anything. Um, well, as far it's as embarrassing at this point. Yes, I wouldn't say anything. And I feel as though Sonya, she thinks she is the prize piglet because she's able to. Be out here running for him. And what are you getting in return? Compliments and wishful thinking? But he's not even claiming her. That's the killing part. He's not even claiming her. He's like, mistress, who's the who are they talking about? <laughs> it's like, girl, he's not even <laughs> claiming you. <laughs> uh, Nesto may not be able to, what did he say? Um <laughs> Nesto may not be able to speak, but his persistence and that and bedroom skills are where his claim to fame. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. He he knows how to dress, get a nice haircut. He knows how to flip cars uh -huh. and, and RV buses. And, okay. And and 
train up a lot of people to think that he's doing important things. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's taking meetings and all kinds of stuff, but nothing ever happens. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And Sonia, this is not going to end well for her. Um, oh I know she said that she is going to come up, but it really looks bad as a 55 year old woman. She's too old for this. It looks horrible. She she thinks this is funny. She's entertained. She's entertaining herself. I'm like, this is a bad look. And I know her family. They're in the corner. They have a group chat that she's not included in. And they are really going ham on her. They're going off on her. I bet they Just are. imagine her daughter. Her She's got grandchildren. It's like, ma'am. Gr grandma's over there wearing a a uh I don't even know was that like a, a, a mama's, <laughs> grandma's wearing a bralette and a silky uh, and a um a Malaysian uh ponytail with all kinds of edge control and Carl Thomas's one night stand baby mom doing live streams for four hours talking about absolutely nothing. And did you hear her when she said, um, yeah, we went clubbing. <laughs> 55? <laughs> I'm 45 and I'm not going to be in the club. I, she's just disgusting at this point. And, and I Sonia really thought... is trying to have some fun. Yeah, but I thought, you know what I really thought? I was like, uh-oh. When they were, when they finally exposed her, I was like, yeah, she's going to fall back. She's going to go into hiding. That's what I'm thinking. No! She came out front and center. Here I am. Let's go. Oh, she's embarrassing. Yeah, it was it was interesting to me because I um I read so there was um I don't even know if I should talk about this today, but um I was looking at so you know she's talked a lot about her father passing away, right? Mm -hmm. And I was reading the obituary and seems like this, the, uh, her dad was quite an accomplished gentleman um, in their community. And they mentioned that he was married at one time to a lady and not the name of the name that we know as Sonia's mom, Sydney Ellis or whatever the lady's name was. Mm -hmm. that was mentioned on the internet. Um a whole nother person. And then there was a series of children. Seems like she's one of nine children. And everybody names, girl. It's like, um, it's a lot of names. Okay. Seems like there might be a few different moms and I'm just going to kind of leave that right there. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know where all this comes from, but it seems as though there's quite a lot of children, a lot of siblings. Mm -hmm. And, Lots of different names and all of those things. So I he it seemed like he was married to another lady. I don't know if he was ever married to her mom. Um, and then there's like kids with all different names. I'm not even gonna like it's easily to find. Um Man. but interesting when people talk about how she wants to be noticed, maybe they were part of a second family. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like girl, I don't I'm not even gonna get into all that because I'm not really sure what the situation was because it's not really illustrated well in the obituary mm -hmm. but just when you look at the mentionings of the family um, it was like okay very light large fam um, but just it was missing some information but girl, I don't I don't know that's you know usually in those in those write-ups they're giving you what was important to the deceased right I'm gonna just say it like that. Gotcha. I got gotcha. you. There was some, there was some missing parts to that story, but okay. Um, I'm mm, on that. You know <laughs> what I would right like? I you know what I would like to see. Mm -hmm. Um, no, sure, it wasn't even the same first name though, Thessy. It was a different lady's name, and that I think those that lady had different kids too. I don't know. Maybe and maybe that is a. A full professional name. So maybe it's a professional first and last. So good point. Okay. Um, okay. So tell me else what else you were gonna say. I'm sorry. No, 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 you're fine. Um, Shirley, she's taking the high road, you know, she's still yes. doing her <laughs> strawberry letter, which is kind of hard to listen to, being that we know what you're going through and you're, you know, giving advice to other people. 
But I would like to see her do an interview at some point. I don't know who would do it, but we need to hear an interview. We need to see an interview. What do you think? You think she'll do an interview in the future? I don't I don't think she's going to talk about like what I've heard her talk about, like, so that interview that she did, um, like this time last year with that lady, um, gosh, what was her name? And I, we talked about it over here. Mm -hmm. She did an interview with a friend on Zoom, a fellow colleague, and Joy Sparrow, I think was her name, or maybe it was Joyce Sparrow, something like that. Anyway, um, the lady brought up Nesto's name. And that she had had like such a nice wedding and all of the things. And she changed that topic so quick. Mm -hmm. I just, and I know, so if someone approached her about doing like a Nesto, like tell us everything, I just don't see her doing it. I really don't. She's, she's definitely a different generation, even though she's cool and everything. She's a very cool, hip 69 she's not that cool. You know what I'm saying? And, and she's also extremely private. And I think she makes enough money that she doesn't need to make a coin off of this. Plus, this is embarrassing. So where like a Gabrielle Union and Jeannie Mai, yeah, they're going to come up and defend themselves. Uh huh. They're of a different generation. They're in their 40s, almost 50. But at the end of the day, they're they're it's a different generation. What you and I would do, what Jeannie Mai, uh, Gabrielle, people in their 40s, early 50s, this lady is in a whole different ballpark. Even though she is very, very contemporary, she, I just don't see her wanting to earn a coin off of it. I don't see her writing a book about it. I think she's totally okay talking about other people and talking about other people's scenarios. She's not doing a tell all on herself. Jean Sparrow, thank you, ma'am. Um, she's not, I just don't see her doing it. Mm. If yeah. Oprah could capture her to do it, but Oprah is too busy. With yeah, other things, crazy. Oprah is not going to do that interview. Gail King Cameron is not going to do the interview. Tamron Hall. Tam Tamron Hall, I just don't see it converting over to Tamron Hall. Like, Tamron Hall does about 10 minutes. Shirley needs a whole damn hour on this. Just, like, no, Tamron, who we Tamron did a Hall, part three, four? Yeah, yeah, Tamron Hall would be doing the book tour. Cameron Hall doesn't really sit down for an hour on, okay, tell me from the beginning. Yeah, Cameron Hall does, okay, the book just came out. Oh my God, there's so many juicy details. Tell me what's going on. She's mm -hmm. surely not doing all She's not writing a book. She's mm -hmm. not telling everybody. She, she can't because there are some things that she's going to have to admit to knowing about that yeah. she doesn't want to admit. She, it's not, it's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. I just thought about that. She's too much, uh, she's too concerned with image than anything, but she could. And, and self preservation. Like, mm -hmm. you let this man call your daughter a bitch. You, mm -hmm. turned your you turned your back on your daughter. Tell us about how you were embarrassed that your daughter had a baby at 19. Tell us about how you were okay with your husband never being at home. Tell us, did, when did you ever find out that your husband was going to jail for the first time, the second time, the third time? Like, tell us all of that. Come come on now. You know what I mean? Like, this lady makes a million dollars a year. She lives in an apartment and she's she should be good. If she handles her business right, she should be fine. Yeah. Unless, like, I don't think she's going to come out the bushes. There's, It's not going to be enough money. And on top of that, Steve will pay her more. Yeah. Because if anything is a reflection on Steve and what he's got going on, Hello. Steve is gonna, Steve is going to want to know what he needs to pay her to her have her not like what do you need? Okay, like why are we doing this? I can hear him now. Come on, Sully. Sully. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have so and so cut you a check. Like, okay? Like, girl. Sully. He Shirley. Yeah, no, he can't. Uh, we got to keep this low key. 
Mm-hmm. It's black excellence over here. We don't do that. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Well, take that. I hope the best. And, and if I were her friend, I would be like, girl, you can take that to the grave. Right. Yeah, that's my friend. That's gonna be on some take it to the grave. Mm-hmm. You don't even have to tell me as long as no, you don't, don't do that. Don't, don't, do that. Don't, don't do that. You'll make more money being quiet. Yeah, mm-hmm. because you don't need to give Nesto any. Because keep in mind also, that's gonna give Nesto a platform. Mm-hmm. If she validates what happened, that gives Nesto a platform, and that gives side chick, edge, edge, uh, edgeless so and so. What the streets are calling sister girl a platform. You know what? She's keeping this alive because once um everything come out came out, Shirley kind of died down as far as the calls, right? Mm-hmm. And then we found out who Sonya was. After Sonya was revealed, I just knew I was like, oh yeah, this is it. It's not gonna be interesting anymore. Cause she's, you know, she's gonna fall back. But she is the one who's keeping this alive. She's yeah. keeping this alive by all the posts and lies. And then in the comment section, she wants to be seen. And so I'm just wondering, when is she ever going to come out and say, you know what? I found out that, or do you think she's just going to disappear? Once she realizes that she has been grifted as well, that she's not special. She thinks she's special. Once she finds out that she's not special. Doesn't she knows she's not special. Like he told. Lamont, like, like he said like to Lamont, he's told Dre, he said it to many people. Like, she should know this by now, doesn't she know? She's delusional. Like, how many more times do, like, how Maury used to say, you had to come on here for that? Like, you had, <laughs> did you really need to come on here for us to tell you the 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 lie detector said so and so was lying? Mm-hmm. Like, we've already heard him say what he's doing. And then now she's mm-hmm. co-signing with the oh I want them together I want we're t- I'm oh, just girl, a friend please. girl please so it's like that doesn't even make any sense but if she wants to continue to be a do girl that's her business but you know it's it's when uh, PCFS puts the calls out and we see what's really going on but at the end of the day you know I think there's still there's obviously still the interest in the case and mm-hmm. you know like. We're still going to talk about it because Sonya is part of this story now, but mm-hmm. she's not an A. She's not the A part. She's not even a B part. She's mm-hmm. she really could go away at any moment, and we're still good because there's so many other supporting characters. Yeah. She just makes herself interesting by being silly and slow and trying to put herself out front. I just think everyone needs to just relax. It's not going to turn into what you think it's going to turn into be because Mm -hmm. YouTube requires work. Mm -hmm. It requires work. And it also requires wanting to have to do it. And she may not realize that those coins are not going to come as quickly as she thinks they are. And, um, and we'll just see. And if if people don't want to support it, don't support it. Yeah, I'm not subscribing to it. Now, yeah. I, I watch, but she will never mm-hmm. get a subscription a notification from this platform, but I will watch her videos just to be nosy. She's yeah. entertaining. Right. I, it, it. It's I mean, I don't, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. At the end of the day, she's, she's, she, I don't know if she's monetized yet or not. I know she has a thousand subscribers, but it also takes hours and it also takes her opting in. You don't just magically get monetized. You have to opt in for that and they have to approve your channel and they have to approve your channel as um, advertiser friendly and not saying that her she's not advertiser friendly. However, um, you know, she has to opt in for that. So when she opts in um, and then they'll review it and then they'll say it's advertiser friendly and then she has to put in the work. So anything that's been done so far that that that's not monetized. I mean, it could be monetized in the future, but mm-hmm. those those videos won't make a lot because the life of those videos have already gone. Like people have already heard those; they've already been reacted to. All of that. They're I wouldn't say they're worthless, but they're you know what I mean. It's moving forward is what's going to bring anything. And if she's not putting anything out, she's going live. 
She's having silly fugazi lives. Uh, you know, um, the algorithm makes a decision like right. what, like wh where these, you know, what's going to happen with this. So she's, you know, I don't really know how those calls are rated and how favorable. So um, it takes a minute for you to get tracked in a favorable kind of wave. So, you know, and all of that does, requires work. Yeah. So, yeah. and she's anyway, not captivating. Mm -hmm. No, not really. Not at all. I think it's more of kind of like, um, you know, people, there's always going to be a part of the community that likes the anti hero. There's always people that like, you know, how people like the drummer, like obviously the good looking guys in front, and then maybe his, his the, the other partner in the front. But there's always two or three people that like the guy way in the back and the guy that plays the drums and the guy that, uh, you know, one of the one of the flunkies from the back or whatever. There's always someone that's into the anti-hero. Mm -hmm. So Sonia's got her supporters. Absolutely. All the side chicks, all the wannabes, all the people who don't mind if still so-and-so got this or, you know what I mean, has that. Um, mm -hmm. And let them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, friend, so, thank you so much for adding me on. Absolutely. And, and so is there anything else you want to close out on? Are you are you still enjoying it? Are you still here for it? I'm still here for it. And I just want to say I hope this experience, well, Cheryl's experience will be a cautionary tale for women. You know, Absolutely. it doesn't feel right. If you feel in your gut that something's not right, it's better to go with that and be lonely until you meet someone else or alone than to continue on because you don't want to be lonely. Absolutely. Or, or, and, or put it in perspective and just have a good time. Everybody doesn't need a title. Right. Just sometimes just have a good time, enjoy a companion, and let a companion be a companion. A companion doesn't have to turn into a boyfriend or a husband. Mm -mm. Because mm -mm. men very quickly will not, doesn't wipe, my, men aren't quick to wipe everyone up. Those are the ones you got to be careful for. But women, every every date doesn't have to turn into an engagement. No. Sometimes no, it can just be a nice friend and a date. That's it. Mm hmm. Well, it was so nice talking to you, Loretta. So I will see you again next time. And um, I don't know if we're going to do hot topics tomorrow, like other stuff. But um, you know, we'll we'll of course stay abreast of this situation. But we might do some hot topics tomorrow. Okay, you'll see me okay. in the comment section. Okay. All right, everyone. Okay, Loretta, have a good night and have a wonderful weekend. You too. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Guys, we made it. We took every single call. Praise be and hallelujah. Okay. Um, v Small said amen. Okay. Guys, you guys were wonderful. Thank you on the likes. Thank you for all of the super chats and cash apps. You guys spoil me and thank you so much. I'm just going to give a one summary. Thank you. You guys are amazing. I appreciate that so much. I'm glad we had a fun conversation. See what happens. This the Dion call is not meant for me to react to, and that is okay. I think you guys all listen to it. Dion, we know, loves his dad and gives him all praises and all types of support, and maybe even more than what he deserves. Um, because I'm sure there's someone in that jail that needs some support that's not getting it from a friend or family member. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, Nesto, um, we're just going to keep up on this topic and we're going to keep it moving. And this was a very interesting week. Um, was it already last week, Tasha K? No, I think Tasha K now was almost two weeks ago and it's still going to be one of my highlights of 2023. I just still can't believe that I got to sit on her panel and it was so much fun. And I still, to this day, I'm going to just say her exuberance is really contagious I know some people have their feelings about Tasha K, but you know what? If you're out here on YouTube or you're out here in social media or the media period, if everybody likes you or, every, you know what I mean? If everyone likes you, you are not doing your job. There's always going to have to be people out here that love you, 
don't like you, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, people get their respect and and that's it and that's all. Girl, I missed that part that he was talking about uh, fentanyl. I really did. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and really listen because, girl, that went over my head. But yeah, um, it's it's the it's the respect thing. I really have a lot of respect for that lady, and I've always enjoyed Tasha K. I'm gonna be honest. I've watched Lovely T. I watched Tasha K. I've been watching them since when they were friendly, and they had that whole big all of you OGs out here when Tasha K and Lovely T like that whole thing went down. I've been around out here for a minute watching a lot of this stuff. And I, I do have a lot of respect for uh, people who can make it out here, create their platforms, keep stay, you know, create their own lane and be powerful in it. So I still am enjoying that as a highlight of 2023 for me. Um, this story has been so much fun and this story has allowed me to meet all of you guys. I mean, I had my own other platform, Love Lies and Lace Fronts, but this platform was kind of like wide open where I was really trying to create like a different product, like still be able to be me, still be able to talk to you guys, still be able to do commentary, but not necessarily do it on the mommy sector. And I do appreciate all of you guys who've come through for this ride and enjoy it, like doing investigating, like talking about cases, like getting into the drama, but not being in the drama. Because I always feel like there's ways to be with the drama, but not be part of it. Because I'm certainly not into that aspect of it. But girl, we will talk about it and we will go witness it. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, so you guys are fun. So I'm telling you all that to say, I appreciate y'all very much. You guys are so much fun and, um, we're going to make it even better 2024. So I appreciate anything and everything that you guys, that you guys do. And, um, thank you for being here for me. And, um, I will continue to be here for you guys. Okay. Um, but today was fun and it was a long live guys. So I feel like I've made up for some time that we missed over this week. Um, so, but I'll see you guys tomorrow, but we're going to keep it cute at like an hour. We're going to keep these an hour and super cute. Um, but I feel like this long live today was very necessary to get caught up because a lot did happen this week. So I'm glad we got to talk about everything, but whatever we missed today, we will get into tomorrow. So if there's anything that we missed, drop it down in the comments so I can make sure to address it. So maybe tomorrow we'll just spend some time in the comments since we love to read everyone else's comments, we might just read our own tomorrow and um, handle that business. Okay, guys, you guys take care. Have a good evening and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, take care. Thank you. You're welcome. You're, you're welcome. Thank you for keeping me entertained too because you guys are fun. Thank you, Ebony. How did, how did they know where the booty... <laughs> Girl, stop it. <laughs> We're going to find that. You know what we'll do tomorrow? We will go back. <laughs> Ebony, you're funny. How let's, we will go back to that episode. That was, that would be, that episode is November 1st. Okay. When Shirley got her car seized. Okay. That's when Carly, uh, when Shirley got her car seized, that is on November 1st. So if you're wondering and you want to find it, that was the day her car got seized. Also, um, the Danielle Diamonds. If I'm going to just say, you guys start commenting what was your favorite scene or scenario of this whole debacle. Mine was definitely when Shirley called to say that they took her car because that was hilarious. What a bad day for you. <laughs> and then the Danielle Diamond story. I mean, those are... I, I don't know. You guys, you guys name some more down into the comments, but that's, that's how we need to close out the year. Um, but thank you so much, Ebony. You're so funny. We're going to, we're going to play that tomorrow. Definitely. And I will make a short of it and you guys run it up. Okay. That is something we need to make viral. Anyway, guys, let me let y'all go. You guys have a good evening. I already hear I'm getting, I'm getting Nesto tongue tied and twisted where I can't even talk anymore. You guys take care. Have a good night. And I will see you next time. Bye.